Alrighty. Looks like we're about ready to continue Tokyo. Had a uh, good time last time, I think. I think we got pretty far. I don't actually know how long this game is, but... Uh, Certainly made progress. Feels like we uh, overcame the first major major hurdle. Hey, Dark. Hope your Saturdays are going well. Collectively, your individual Saturdays, not. Uh, multiple Saturdays for one person. Hopefully you're not experiencing multiple Saturdays today. That'd be some weird shenanigans. Five to seven hours. Oh. Well, we, got, well, we went through four last time. <laughs> we went through four last weekend. So we'll see where this goes. If you missed last time... Where we had a uh, real marathon showing here. We uh, left off at kind of a uh, what felt like a branch point. Where we could either go. Let's just load back into this. Hopefully this loads. Yes, okay. This is exactly the point we left off here. Oh, bake, bake cookies concurrently with... Oh, well, that's, a, that's really sweet. That sounds like a lot of fun, actually. Anyway, this, this, is, this will serve as a nice uh, review in terms of... Uh, where we left off. Picking up the cliffhanger, so to speak. I have to, I have to ask what kind of cookies. The air in the collector's basement was stagnant and heavy. If I had stayed any longer, I felt like it may have suffocated me. By the time I was there, Akihabara faded away into a distant memory. I returned to the surface, put my hand up to shield my eyes from the sunlight, and listened to the people on the street. Their conversations seemed so pointless. What for world I no longer belong to? As these sounds of the street swept the cobwebs of my mind, forced me to remember everything I told the Collector and everything he impossibly knew. I told him so much, but did I have a choice? Maybe he was right, and I was a puppet after all. At that moment, it didn't matter. Part the dark and the mask both belonged to a world I, I was now a part of. Normal methods of investigation wouldn't lead me to them. Countless paths were narrowed to two, and I had no choice but to march forward toward the leads I'd been given. As I left Akihabara behind, one thing bothered me. How did the Collector know so much about me? Was I really that easy to read? I didn't have time to dwell on it. Kazuki and Reina were in the dark. That much had all been... That, that had been all but confirmed. And I now had a means, however impossible, to find them. Two paths, the mask and the dark. Both were necessary, and I had to make a choice of which to follow first. Chase after a talent agency in Tokyo's red light district, or back to Kamakura to visit Mai, the girl I nearly got killed. Neither seemed very appealing. My logical side didn't understand how either would help. But as everything around me cracked and crumbled away, logic didn't matter anymore. I had to choose, or maybe something would choose for me. She made chocolate chip, she made peanut butter. Oh, that's awesome. Now did, you, now, did you ever have chocolate, have peanut butter chocolate chip? That feels like the logical next step here, Dark. 
just saying. I also happen to love I also happen to love both, so you can't go wrong with that combination. Now we had two choices. Kabuchi Kabuchigo? Uh, I don't I forgot to look up how that was pronounced. Kabuchiko? Kabuch Kabu Kabukicho. Kabukicho. I I if I keep if I keep trying it, I'm just gonna keep butchering it more. Kabuchiko or Kamakura. And I got a poll on my community tab. And 13 votes. 62% to 38% says we're going for Kamakura. We in this boy's way, Rev. The survey says we're going to Kamakura. Back where this all began. They're just in time. Oh, hey, there we go. Descend. I came, I came here to find out about the mask, but there's something I've got to do first. Six months ago, I sent one girl to the morgue and very nearly killed another. Kamakura. Izuru Kamakura. No, I made that joke last time. Since then, I'd thought of coming here to apologize to Mai Kawana countless times, but couldn't will myself to see her and be faced with my failure. I think of the fear and hurt in her eyes, and I feel nothing but shame. For my own peace of mind, I need to tell her the truth about that day, and about how I lost control. Yeah, hi Mai, your grandma's evil mask possessed me. Hopefully she can find it in herself to forgive me enough to help me with my investigation of the mask. Wait, it's fault. Why are the cherry blossoms blooming? It's like nothing's changed since that day. Can we go see our friend? Is he still here? Oh, oh, oh there he is. Oh, it's, uh, you. Hello, Majura. I was reading the papers and I, uh, saw your picture. And then I saw that picture on the TV news. And maybe the seven chan message boards. Uh, after I uh, do you up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was curious. I heard meeting you and couldn't believe it. It's like I met a celebrity or something. Ah, yes, a celebrity. A bad kind. Oh, of course it's not good or anything, but you know, you, you never know who you'll meet in this business. Everyone always seems so unassuming. I mean, that's not to say it even if it's your fault or anything. Yeah. Okay, so the uh, message boards are uh, pretty bad. There's a lot of bad stuff on them there. Like, wow. Pretty, uh, stuff. Uh, are you done? Oh, right, sorry, yes. Uh, hello, again. Let's try this again. Dot, dot, dot. Cherry blossoms. What's going on with the weather here? It's fall. Why are the cherry blossoms out? It's beautiful, isn't it? It's a species of cherry tree. The prunus? Prunus subrutella autumn autumnalis that sometimes blooms twice a year. Oh. At least that's what it says on mine. Would have thought we'd have them here in Kamakura. Well, I say Kamakura, but they only seem to be in this part of town. Hmm. Around the, the the shrine and the uh, place where the evil mask used to reside. Lucky, huh? A cherry blossom tree that blooms in fall. I've never seen it. Are you sure you've got your facts straight? It seems impossible. Impossible? Do you doubt my bot botany expertise? I mean, we never know. It might have... Uh, uh, that might be your actual expertise. We've seen your attempts in the past. Impossible would be if the seasons started reversing themselves, don't you think? Hmm. Yeah, it certainly feels that way. How's everything sound, by the way? Definitely really tinkered with anything since last time, so... In theory, things should be working well, but uh, just let me know if anything seems off. Okie dokie. 
Huh? You say something? Why the glum face? Anyway, I hope you take advantage of the weather and go for a picnic or something. Ah, yes. A, uh... This is advanced darkness. This isn't normal darkness. This is advanced darkness. This is darkness two. Sounds good. Sounds good. Good, good, good. The blossoms are so peaceful. Don't they put your mind at ease? Maya's grandmother. Is Maya's grandmother still at that house near here? Hmm, you want to see her? Well, she is still around, I suppose. Uh, what's that mean? I see the comings and goings of all the people around here. I don't see her getting out much, though. Interesting. Oh, yes, that reminds me. When you were last here in April, did she, I don't know, give you something? I'm not accusing you, of course. I just uh, heard that there was an important artifact that went missing last spring. Kawana is old and losing her faculties a bit. Maybe she gave it to you by mistake. Uh, about that. Uh, can you remember anything like that? What do you think? Up, uh, up front? Or... I don't really want to tell this Glossop Hound anything more than I have to, but... Uh, maybe he knows something about the mask. So... You know what? Ask him. Oh, so you do know about it. That's, uh... That's a relief. Wouldn't want to think something so important was stolen by some riffraff, right? So, do you know when they'll return it? You'll have to ask HQ about that kind of thing, sorry. I did. I contacted them several times. They said they didn't know anything about it. They said they didn't have it. You don't think they're lying, do you, Detective? Well, I mean... They, they, they don't have it. They wouldn't lie about something like that. Something so precious to this town, would they? I'm sure whoever you talked to was mistaken. Yes, but that must be it. I'll keep trying. Okay, Majra, you keep trying. Enjoy your time in Kamakura. Bye. Where's Mai? Looking for Mai Kawana. Have you seen her? Yeah, yeah they're not lying now. <laughs> in, case, in case you don't remember last time, we stole the mask from the police evidence last time, so... Yeah. Oh, you're looking for Mai again, huh? Are you sure that's such a good idea? She was pretty upset about the, uh, happenings the last time you were here. It's a happening. I mean, I've barely seen her leave Kamakura since then. Maybe it's best you leave her alone. It's important I talk to her. Da da da. I suppose she'd be at the shrine that's down the street, like usual. Mai is very important to this town. Please don't upset her too much. We all want everything to go back to normal. Go back to normal, huh? <clears throat> it's a little early to think about leaving. I need to speak with my... Oh. Why is that an option in talking to Kawana? What? Oh, so we literally go back into the station when we're ready to leave. Interesting. Knock, knock. Go away! No visitors. Uh, might cost us some... Go away! No visitors. Okay, so that's not going to cost us any neuroses. Let's remember our stats from last time. We got negative neurosis, which might be good. We have very high investigation. We're middle of the road professional. And we're hanging on to stability. It's like it takes a, it takes a lot to actually move the needle and change status, so to speak. Those few things which actually uh, move the needle <laughs> too excessively. Oh, hi. How are you? Cherry blossoms fall gently onto my feet as I approach the Kawana family shrine. In front of me was my Kawana, still dressed in the outfit of the shrine maiden. She 
had seen me approach and stood there frozen and terrified, the same helpless look on her face as when she had a knife to her throat there months before. This time it was me she was terrified of. We were the only two people at that shrine that couldn't shake the feeling of being followed. The familiar presence watching from the shadows. What? What? Ah, God! No. Hi. This was bad. This escalated quickly. Hi. I'm not gonna do it. No, I won't do it. Why now? Why her? I don't have to do what you say. That is a very... Oh god. I'm not a puppet. I can choose. Are you? The detective from before? Why are you just standing there? Is... is it over? I'm fine. Sorry to scare you. I'm here to talk to you. See, I... Da da da. I've never been good at apologies. I'm sorry for everything I put you through. I've been meaning to talk to you ever since that day. I should have come sooner. You're here to apologize? Now? Yeah. I didn't hear from anyone in six months. The police only talked to me once, and then everyone here started avoiding me and acting like it never happened. I guess that makes me the last person you'd want to see now. He don't know killing. He don't know killing. After that day, I'm sure some police came by and told you that I was only following procedure, but that's bull. Police in this country don't go around shooting people. I didn't feel myself in lost control, putting you at risk. Sounds vague to say I'd lost control at such a crucial time, I bet. But that's the truth. Th the truth? It's strange, isn't it? The cherry blossoms, I mean. It's silly, but every time someone comes here and says how beautiful they are, I get so mad. It's like they don't understand my feelings at all. Eh? Huh? That's selfish, huh? It's not like I want everyone to suffer along with me. Eh? Huh? I imagine the only other one who understands that is you, Detective. Your name's Ito, right? It's so quiet here. It's hard to imagine something like that day in April really happening in a place so beautiful, so peaceful. That seemed like an odd, odd digression from the topic. So... Every time they mention that how beautiful the cherry blossoms are, it makes you mad. But it did. That bit of conversation's not quite clicking in my mind yet. I feel like maybe that's tied to them kind of pretending that nothing happened back in April. It's gonna say, oh, hey, bye. Cherry Blossoms, you're beautiful, aren't they? Nothing happened. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Ah, yeah, possibly. I, I suppose it did happen when the cherry blossoms were blooming. And they're still blooming. That would also be really sad. Having the cherry blossoms associated with the memory of being held at knife point and nearly killed. I, you, I didn't knew that you and your partner were only doing what you could to save me, but I wish I could have helped. I felt so helpless. At least you told me the truth. Thank you. You know, I asked Grandma about the mask that the red-headed girl was after, and she denied knowing anything. But it was a lie. I found one of her old journals at the shrine, and she wrote that the mask was important, and had to be hidden away. Why would she lie to me? She could have everyone always trying to protect me by covering everything up. Grandma hasn't been the same since that day, either. She shuts herself up in that old house and mumbles to herself about darkness and purity. I feel like we do need to speak to Grandma at some point. 
I'm so worried about her. My gut tells me that the mask has something to do with it. I'm sorry, listening to me. Listen to me, rambling away. I bet you don't care about any of that. The truth is, I think you're right about the mask having something to do with all this strangeness. I actually came here to ask you about it. After I apologized. You think so too? Let me help you. I don't know anything, but maybe, ta maybe Takashi does. Takashi? Oh, sorry. And Takashi's my brother. He used to live in here in Kamakura with me and Grandma, but he left the first chance he got. We talk on the phone all the time, but he refuses to come back and visit. Ah. I get the feeling he knows something I don't. He won't even tell me about how my parents died. Oh. Where does your brother live now? He's an instructor at a kendo dojo in Asakusa in Tokyo. I hear he's big shot in the kendo world. Big shot? Big shot? Did you say the magic words? Big shot. Now's your chance. Hmm. It sounds like he'd be a good place to start. Do you think he'll speak with me? Now's your chance. Now's your chance. Now's your chance. Now's your chance. Hmm. You can try. He's, he's never been very good at opening up to strangers, though. It's worth a shot. Thanks for helping me, Mai. Does that not look like a face at the corner of this, uh, panel here? I don't know if my mouse actually shows here, but... Does that, look, does that not look like half a face there? That's kind of... I don't like it here. Static -y music is really... putting me off. Descend. So Mai has an older brother in Asakusa. Maybe she can, he can shed some light on their family's past. The mask will show you hyperlink blocked. Bro? No way, no visitors. Okay, fine. Grandma's not going to tell me anything. Leave Kamaka. Now we're going to Asakusa. Asakusa, the home of Sensoji. One of the most famous temples in Tokyo. It's also a bustling... Uh, it's also a bustling entertainment district. It means a pocket of traditional culture surrounded by the city's high rises. Interesting. Asakusa, let's go. Let's go. Music was very stressful for that. But especially since that peaceful conversation started off with Kill her, kill her, kill her. Kill her. A really... Concerning way to start that conversation. Investigation up to that point led me, led me to believe that finding Takashi Kawana would be difficult and convoluted. That couldn't be further from the truth. Turns out his Kendo Dojo was well regarded as a popular training spot for a few national champions and several of the city's police officers. The latter made me nervous. The information I was asking for was sensitive and I didn't want word of my investigation finding its way back to HQ. A, f a few misfired questions could easily could end up with officers knocking on my door. Or worse, Yukimura himself calling me up. I had to be cautious. What if you could have just killed her? If it, if it just kind of game over. Yeah, it's. I feel like either we could we could have killed her and taken a huge sanity hit from that. We could kill her and give us a game over because it cuts off a story path. Or we try and kill her and Detective Ito just uh, resists it, fights it off, takes a sanity hit. By waiting it off, we waiting it out, we just kind of...
let it pass normally, so to speak. Inside is the interior of a traditional tea shop, but it doesn't look like anyone's been there recently. Hello, friend. Hello there. Would you be interested in buying some of the finest takoyaki in Tokyo? This is, this is the cheap stuff you buy at a food stand at a festival. It'll make you question everything you knew about octopus in ball form. Who would say no to that? Who would say no to that sales pitch? Sure, I'll take some. No. Oh. Wow, you're right. This is maybe the best takoyaki I've had. Thank you, miss. Best takoyaki on all the islands. That professionalism minus one. Neurosis minus ten. Good. Nothing better than some good food. Look, tourists, likely. I can hear them speaking English. Ah, oh, my English isn't so great, so I doubt they would be of much help. I wonder what they're talking about. It is not nyan cakes. Still delicious, though. Nothing beats nyan, nothing beats nyan cakes. Uh, hello there. Is there something we can help you with? Uh-huh. I don't, don't speak ing. Oh, wait. Japanese? Your Japanese is perfect. As a college professor, if it wasn't, if it wasn't, I'd probably be out of a job. I'm no college professor, but I work in a Japanese software company, so I'd be in a bit of trouble, too. Fair enough. Hmm? Don't look at me, I just live here. Well, not in Tokyo. In the suburbs. Oh. Whoa, I think you might got- I think you guys might be speak Japanese better than I do. I mean, sorry. I just- I, uh, um, never would have thought. Would you prefer to speak in English instead? No, absolutely not. No, I mean, no, please, um, Japanese is fine. Sorry, I wasn't meaning to be nosy. I guess I don't see people wearing yukata this late in the year. Is there a festival or something? Eh, no. We come to Asakusa every year, and the yukata become part of the tradition after a while. Guess it makes us stand out more than we already do, huh? I don't knock tradition, Tony. Admittedly, my legs are a little cold, though. <laughs> Let's ask about Takashi's dojo. You guys come here every year? You must know the area pretty well by now. I'm looking for a kendo dojo, where a Takashi Kiwana works. It should be in this area. Uh oh? Kiwana? Why does that name seem so familiar? Oh, right. He's that kendo instructor at the dojo right behind us. People say he's some kind of prodigy. I wouldn't be surprised if he became a master in time. Supposedly, he's very particular about who he trains. Suppose he doesn't want to waste his time with people who aren't serious. Makes sense when you think about it. With how good he is, he must get a ton of wannabe kendo masters coming to him. Seems like he trains a lot of police, too. The time we've been standing here, we've seen a few come in and out. Oh, that's concerning. Oh, that, and I think he's still in his 20s. If someone's so young, he must be under a lot of pressure. No kidding. I've heard talks of an interdepartmental kendo tournament. It's become a matter of pride for the different regional departments. I wish my work did martial arts. Competitions between departments? Nothing would work out. Nothing would work out. The unspoken tension between me and my boss quite like a good smack to the jawline. <laughs> Police fighting each other, huh? That must be pretty brutal. I mean, I guess police in Japan don't really have to use force all that much, though. Uh, eh. Yeah, uh, anyway. How do you know so much about the dojo, anyway? I mean, I live in Shinagawa. I don't know anything about that specific about it. <laughs> um. You see, it says so right here in the dojo's flyer. He was out here about ten minutes before you came, handing them out. Kind of seemed a little prickly, so we didn't talk to him, though. I admit it would have been a little much cooler if we'd known them, uh, if we'd known that off the top of our head. But we're glad that we were able to help you regardless. <sighs> Makes me feel a little silly now, trying to learn more about him from a flyer. Considering he trained so many police, I'm surprised I never heard of him until now. Hmm? You associated with the police somehow? Huh? M who, me? Uh, no, of course not. Not currently, anyhow. I, um, I'm an investigator, see? Uh, like, uh, a private detective. Listen, if anyone comes by asking about a female detective, just, um... Uh, sorry, I don't speak Japanese, right? Exactly. I appreciate it. 
Anyway, I should get going. Sorry to bother you. Thanks for the information, guys. Our pleasure. Good luck at the dojo. Let us know if you learned any kendo tricks. The men in the department always puffed out their cheeks when they talked about the kendo competitions like it was going to impress me or something. Never paid it much attention. Ah, yes. That's just... That's just how they be sometimes. Still, it's strange that someone related. However, fate me into the mask has yet another tie to my old life. Takashi Kawana seems like an interesting guy, but very serious and not keen on strangers. At least I don't... At least I didn't have to use any English. That would have been a disaster. Thank you, gentlemen. Farewell. There we are. This looks like the dojo I was looking for. It's a very traditional aesthetic. Who are you? Oh, hello there. A friend of mine's. Considering the answers we want are directly related to my, here we go there. Minus one. You're a friend of my sister's. You expect me to believe that? A little old, don't you think? Ah, gee, thanks. Really, you think I wouldn't recognize you? Ah. You're the officer who was at the shrine in April, who almost got her killed. And now you're lying about it, pretending to be her friend to no doubt get something from me. Oh, well this didn't get off to a good start. Don't look so shocked. Your little deception was easy to read, is all. After your idiocy at Kamakura, I heard Mai crying over the phone every night for a month. Don't bother her anymore. Now get out of here, before myself or one of your fellow officers has to throw you out. Well, that didn't go well. Well, that didn't go well. Maybe Mai will know how to soften her brother up. Uh, yeah, well... Alright. Oh, the gentlemen are gone. Goodbye. I am committing to this route. Can't hurt but to try. Keep getting for the grain game, yes. Descend. Hi, Mai. I think I managed to find your brother. He didn't exactly seem happy to see me. Yep, you found big brother, all right. He's been protected from me ever since we were little. I know I'm probably overstepping my boundaries, but would you be willing to come talk to him? I don't think he'll tell me anything on my own. You want me to help? You know, seeing you again really got me thinking. I decided that even if everyone's trying to hide it, I can't sit here and ignore what's happening. I need to understand why my family has been acting so strangely. Hmm, this is actually... positive. Even my own brother is keeping me in the dark. I'm sick of it. Sure, I'll come with you, Ito. If I went alone, he'd probably pat me on the head and send me on my way. But if you're there, I'm sure he'll tell me about my parents, the mask, and everything. Are you sure that's what you want? Sometimes not knowing is better, Mai. No, no more stupid little Mai. I'd rather be hurt and know than happy and ignorant. Sometimes the truth hurts. Sometimes it's better out than in. Before we go, let's check on Grandma. These days, if she doesn't know where I am, it can really set her off. All right, we'll make a quick, we'll make a quick stop at the house. Thanks, Mai. For some reason, that little smile on her overworld sprite is unsettling. Jog, jog, jog. Jog, jog. I say no visitors. Leave me alone. Grandma, it's me. Please open the door. Bye. Oh, my, it's you. Please, come in. Yes, come in. In we go. Yum. Wait, what is she doing here? It's okay, Grandma. She's here to help. Help? Ah, don't make me. Don't make me laugh. 
were supposed to help me, remember? I... I felt something, and you were going to free me from the past. Free you? Are you talking about the mask? Do not discuss that horrid thing here. No matter how far you go, I can still feel it. Like needles in my skin, dragging me to it. In my dreams, I can still see that place. Have you seen it too, detective? A dark place, where those who we've lost reside. Ah, the dark. I'm so old and I've wasted so much time, yet the pain won't go away. My poor Emiko. I miss her so much. If only I could have found her. Emiko? You mean Mom? Oh, find her? What are you talking about? She's gone. Looks like we're getting some answers early. Takshi told me she died after I was born. Yes, of course. You shouldn't be asking about such things, Mai. If it weren't for this woman, you'd be safe at the shrine. No, Grandma, you're wrong. I'm not safe while everyone lies to me. I'm going to see Takashi. If you don't tell me the truth, he will. My, listen to yourself. You must stop. Opening the door to the past will solve nothing. Ever since you were little, I've done what I could to protect you and your brother. Please don't go down this path. You look so much like her, you know. Your mother. And you, detective. Me? Perhaps my granddaughter is too naive to see it, but you can't hide it from me. I know what you've seen, what you think you're able to do. But keep my family out of it. We've suffered enough. You don't know anything about me, and besides, I'm not the one hiding things from my family. Hmm. Tell me, do you know the story of Izanagi and Izanami? Ooh. Grandma, this again? I'm sure Ito's not interested in hearing some old myth. Really, we should get going. Stay right there. Well, I've told you this story so many times you don't seem to grasp its importance. I think it would be of use to this woman to hear it. Izanagi and Izanami were the first of the gods, known to us as the Kami. In legend, it was the drops of ocean and water that fell from Izanagi's jeweled spear that created the islands of Japan. Oh. When they, descend when they descended to our lands, they brought their love and devotion with them to the realm of mortals. Izanagi and Izanami had many children, the deities of nature that inhabit the natural world around us. For a time, life is peaceful. However, as Izanami gave birth to Kagatsuchi, the god the Kami of Fire, she was horribly burnt and suffered mortal wounds. As she lay dying, and faced with her mortality, new Kami were born from her suffering. Kami that hid away from the light. Izanami passed. Izanagi was inconsolable, and in his rage he struck down the child that killed his love. Able to accept her death, he ventured deep underground to Yomi no Kuni, the land of the dead. Half blind and distraught with grief, wandered in the darkness until he finally heard the voice of his beloved. Though unable to see her face, Izanagi begged Izanami to return with him. Izanami replied that she would try and ask the gods of Yomi no Kuni permission to return to the land of the living. Incapable of restraining his desire to see his love, Izanagi set his comb alight in order to look upon his lost love. What greeted him was the sight of her decaying, worm-eaten face. Surprisingly mild for decaying and worm-eaten. In horror, Izanagi attempted to, attempted to flee Yomi no Kuni. Izanagi, enraged, sent dark spirits to pursue him and drag him back to her. After narrowly escaping, Izanagi sealed the entrance to Yomi no Kuni with a great boulder. So you see, it is our it is our mortality that brings suffering to into this world. If resisting it is a perversion of the natural order. Being mortal means we must accept that we cannot control life and death. Detective, some things cannot be changed, and some doors should never be opened. We must stop. Grandma, you're talking about stories and myths. We're talking about real things. The story may be a myth, but there is truth with it within it. Can't you see that? The things you pursue, they are unnatural, unclean. Keep my warning and stop this foolishness. I get what, I get what you're saying. How, uh... If you, uh...
try and focus on such things for too long. If you find what you're looking for, it could drag you down into the darkness for good. Right? I won't let you involve my family any further. First those bastards take my Emiko, then you show up. Perhaps I'm being punished for my sins. Mai, come here. Come here, my sweet child. We must keep you away from her. No, Grandma, I told you already. I'm going to see Takashi. I'm an adult now. You can't tell me what to do anymore. No, you can't. You can't go. You must, pr must protect our family from, from outsiders, Mai. You're reopening old wounds. Leave us alone. Let us heal. Heal? You think I want to heal? Can't you see how much these lies have hurt me already? You're the one wounding me, Grandma, not Ito. You're delusional. You tell us stories about Kami and spirits. Takashi might hide things from me too, but at least he makes sense. He's trying to tell us without actually telling us. Which is why she comes across that way to my. This time he's going to tell me the truth about everything. About Mom and Dad, too. No, stop. I'll tell you how your parents, how they... You can't, can you? You never told me how they died. The reasons always changed every time I asked. No, Mai, please. You must listen. They, they might be listening. They're still out there, but they haven't forgiven me. Can't you see? Ah. They? What are you talking about? You're insane. Oh, no. I'm sorry I spoke to you that way. I'll be back here to check on you soon. Don't go. Please. Goodbye, Grandma. Hmm. That is... I'm sorry. She's gotten much worse since you last saw her. No, it's fine. Why do you think she told us that story? About Izanagi? I don't know. It was kind of creepy, wasn't it? She was talking about it like she really believed it. Combine that with, uh... Your parents are still out there watching. And it's clearly got some real connotations with the mask in the dark, right? Come on, let's go see Takashi. No way, no visitors. Okay, goodbye. To Takashi. Whoa, whoa, where do you think you're going? Mai and I are leaving. What of it? Oh, well, you you can't. Got a call from Mine's grandmother, and she says that she's having a health issue, so she has to stay. Uh-oh. I, uh, I didn't ask what they were. I wouldn't want to be caught fainting on my shift again. It must be, it must be pretty bad if she called. Don't, don't you, don't you glasses glow at me. Boy, I's an adult. Her grandmother can't keep her here. Let's go. No, you don't understand. You're not going anywhere. What? Not. Use violence. I don't want to use violence yet. What is this? Look. A dead crow. Oh. A dead crow lays in the middle of the street. The small body's in a bad state of decay, covered in dried blood. Maggots have begun eating at its, at its remains. Oh, I get what we're doing here. Ah, oh, good thing I'm wearing gloves. This better work. I get what we're doing here. This is the non-violence route. Show dead bird. Hey there, buddy. Oh, my God. I, I told you about how I don't like... I about the, the the blood and blood's not really my thing, you see. Uh, the, the, the the germs and uh, uh, here dispose of this mantra. Ooh, okay, I'm dizzy. I'm a little dizzy. Just going to. Uh, uh, good. <laughs> oh dear, did he just faint? Sure looks like it. He'll be fine. Let's gonna move on. Okay. 
so we are locked out of everything. Are we locked out of everything? We are locked out of everything. Yeah, I mean, I wonder. Music feels ominous out of the blue. Wait, that yeah, that gives a huge investigation boost. I wonder if there's an investigation stat floor that uh, gates off that uh, dead crow that you can use to get by him without violence. Our investigation was pretty high to start with, like over seventy. So, uh, what if there was a floor that if we were any lower than that, we couldn't, we wouldn't have noticed the dead crow, and we would have to use violence to get out? A small thing. Can we buy my octopus balls? Miss, I can see a glimmer in your eye. That tells you have a hunger. A hunger for a second order by nationally famous Takayaki. Who, me? Oh, well, why wouldn't I? They were amazing. Yep, yep, the struggle is real. You don't think I don't sit at home here in the presence of my own creations and not one little taste? No, of course I do. They're delicious. But the extra time and effort means I don't have, don't have as many on hand and have to limit the order one. I have to limit to, to one order per customer. But I'm your only customer. Come on, just one more taste. Sorry, no can do. There's a reason I set up in a quiet spot like this. Otherwise, I'd sell out in a minute. Well, let me know if you change your mind. Oh, darn. I was kind of hoping we could buy my some takoyaki. As uh, thanks for taking her out. My, what are you doing here? Did she make you come? It's not like that, Takashi. It was my idea. I asked her to come talk with you, but you sent her away. This woman almost got you killed. You expect me to cooperate with her? Surely if you need to talk to me, you can come yourself. My sister doesn't need to be involved. Then, mass says kill. He denied me a second order. Kill, 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 kill. I... I, I did come myself, Takashi. And you sent me away. No. Oh, okay, you're talking about my coming alone. If I came alone, you'd just evade all my questions like you always do. Besides, there's something I need you to see. See what? What are you talking about? That. Where'd you get that? Put it away. So you do know what it is. I knew you were hiding something from me. That's not true. I wasn't hiding it. It's not something you ever needed to know about. Besides, why is she carrying it in the first place? Wait, don't cheat the subject. This isn't about Ito. My, I understand that you're upset with me, but we should talk about this another time. Furthermore, that mask has nothing to do with you. You're wrong. Back in April, when Mai was held at knife point by another girl, it was this mask that she was after. A mask your family is connected to. Looking for it. I suppose I've been a fool to think I could keep the truth out of our, of our family's past away from you. The past? What does this have to do with Mom and Dad? Yes, and so much more. I first saw that mask when I was a child, before you were born. The truth is it belonged to a cult called the, called the Common Kai, of which our parents were members. Oh. A cult? You're kidding. How'd your parents get mixed up in that? I know how it sounds. I find it hard to believe myself. They were in a group led by a guru named Tokimasa, who promised a simpler life, away from the hypocrisy and falseness of city life. Our parents both had both had master's degrees. My mother was on her way to earning her PhD. They chose to give up their lives and their careers to follow some mystic and live on a compound instead. As is the way with cult sucking in. The Kamen Kai were one of many such groups back then. I was a child and didn't understand. But thinking about how our parents were deceived and what they put me and my through, it's unforgivable. The mask was on the compound. For what purpose, what they believed it could do, I don't know. Do you think there was there are any members of the Kamen Kai left who know? No. You see, there are no surviving members. 
they died. All of them. Including our parents. I'm sorry, I don't remember much about it. One night, Grandma came into the room we were sleeping, where we were sleeping, saying we had to go. The compound was in the woods, so it was dark and I could barely see. But she kept charging forward with my in her arms and dragging me, and me dragging behind. When we were back in Tokyo several days later, Grandma told me that our parents were dead. She didn't seem sad. It was as if she, had, if it, it was as if she expected it. The government censored much of what happened, so I was never able to learn how they died. Me and Grandma didn't speak of it, ignoring it as if my childhood and everything that happened in those woods was all a bad dream. If it weren't for her, we'd probably be dead with our parents, but ignoring it couldn't erase the anger I felt towards them. I wonder if they even cared what might happen to us. As a high schooler, I spent more time trying to find out about the common Kai than I did studying. I thought that if I could understand why my parents so willingly gave up their lives and abandoned us, I'd stop feeling so betrayed. But I was wrong. Nothing I found gave me any peace. Mom and Dad died as a part of some cult? I, I don't believe it. How did Grandma end up with the mask? I feel like that's a pretty significant story there. It's true. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. I guess that in hiding it from you, I was able to hide away my feelings as well. I mean, it's really not much of a stretch to imagine how the whole cult died off. It's the kind of cult that promotes like a uh, mass reckoning, mass rapture. Some mass spiriting away at the hands of the mask. And now they're in the dark, perhaps? I think for Grandma, it was too painful to talk about. I believe she took possession of that shrine in order to live a simpler life. We had to keep it secret. There's no way we could live a normal life with the stigma of the Kamen Kai attached to us. I suppose keeping that secret hurt us both dearly. For me, pursuing Kendo gave me some measure of control over my life again. That's admirable. But Grandma made a choice to leave her only daughter behind. She always seemed to carry the guilt of it with her. She started going out at night, and babbling about how she was looking for Mom. When she'd come home, she would have a rotten stink on her clothes. Oh. I... I was too scared to confront her, so I tipped off the police. Eh? They found her wandering in the sewers, holding nothing but the mask. The same one from the cult compound all those years before, and the one you hold now. In the sewers? I was shocked when they gave it to me. I hadn't seen it for so long, and all the unpleasant memories from my past came flooding back. It was when I decided to leave Kamakura. It was the only way I could move on with my life. That doesn't account for how the mask ended up with your grandmother in the first place. I don't know how she got it. It seemingly appeared out of thin air. Maybe someone gave it to her. She never said. I left the mask with her. It always made me uneasy. There was a strange aura about it. Wait, Grandma was looking for Mom? In the sewers? I don't remember any of this. You were in the dorms at your school at the time. Grandma's strange behavior was part of why I insisted on you going to those private schools away from Kamakura. I couldn't drag you into the madness of our past. We parted ways without ever speaking of it, and she was much better by the time you returned to Kamakura. Detective, what exactly is it that you're looking for? Surely our family's history isn't of use to you. I assume you've heard about what happened to my partner. This mask was there again when he died. It's more than an ornament. I need to know where it came from. If that's true, then I want to help. Your partner, he... He seemed like a nice person. You are correct about that. He was... A very nice person. Sorry, I got distracted briefly. I felt like there was something off with my headset there for a second. No, Mai. You've helped plenty, but I have to do this on my own. Ito is right. I apologize for not telling you all of this sooner, but you can't be involved in something so dangerous. I already thought I had lost you that day at the shrine. I wouldn't forgive myself if something happened to you now. Oh. I thank you for all your help. In this, Mai. I'm glad we got some closure. 
and hopefully you stay safe in all this. We have to undertake this journey ourselves. All right, thank you for finally telling me the truth, Takashi. I'll head back now for now. I hope you remember that I'm your sister. We not remember the same things you do, but we're still family. I'll see you guys later. Uh, thank you for your help, Mai. You're right, Mai. I'll come visit you soon. Oh. It looks like she's gone. That was a positive interaction, all in all. We, uh... We definitely, uh... Helped that family dynamic a little bit. So I'd say... That's a win. Mai's not here. There's no need to be coy. No doubt taking possession of that mask has taken its toll on you. Even in the brief time I was in contact with it, I felt an immense darkness behind it. Ah! Hey, Lilac! What I miss? Well, we, we didn't kill Mai. We went back to Kamakura. We did not kill Mai. We did not do a violence upon uh, the station man. Whose name escapes me for the moment. And now... We're speaking to... Uh, Takashi Ka. Takashi. Mai's brother. And they had a bit of a... Uh, positive interaction. We... Cleared the air. Over the family. We learned their backstory somewhat. Their involvement with the cult. And we got Takashi to promise to come back to Kamakura to visit Nai. So, family win. Hopefully your Saturday's doing all right. Going all right, Lilac. It's a, uh, getting uh, balmy season. Balmy? That's the wrong word. Brisk. Chilly. Frigid at times. But alas. Time to talk time to talk some uh, nitty gritty. At the mask. I had such strange dreams and saw things I never would have dreamed up on my own. There was always an unusual air about it that I couldn't stand to be around. Maybe lying to Mai again makes me a hypocrite. All I know is I don't want her getting hurt. But like you said, I don't believe that mask is simply wooden paint. I doubt anyone else would believe us. No one ever did. Except for one man. On this street, there's an old tea shop. Perhaps you saw it on the way in. An old historian named Yasuhisa is there occasionally. He was the only one who ever acknowledged what I said about the mask as the truth. If you're looking for information on the mask, he may be the best person to ask. I never pursue the topic with him, but I speak with him occasionally on other topics. His mind is a vault of valuable information. Hopefully he can shed some light on what it really is. I hope so, but please, Detective, be careful. Well, thank you, Takashi. We also had some lovely, lovely takoyaki, which we can't have again. Only one order per customer. Can enter the tea shop. Here's a current shot of my stats. Uh, I've got a huge boost of investigation for uh, escaping from uh, Kamakura non violently without doing a violence against. Uh, his, his name is escaping me, the station guy with the glasses. That guy with the glasses. He's just as annoying. Alright. Enter. This is somewhat ominous. Uh, oh, you seem friendly. Welcome, come in. Do sit down. No need to be so formal and stand there like a statue. How can I help you? Are, are you Yasuhisa? Uh, Takashi told me to come speak with you. Oh, and how is Mr. Kawana? Still prickly as ever, I suppose. I've always found him to be wise beyond his years, though perhaps not by choice. The man has certainly seen a lot. 
in his lifetime. I digress. My apologies. It's the quirks that come with old age, you know. What does Mr. Kawana think I can help you with? I'm looking into a few things related to the Kamen Kai. The group his family got mixed up in. Ah, uh, a more difficult answer than you might expect. You see, there are two groups that share that name. Uh? Two Kamen Kai? The first, as you know, is the religious group followed by the Guru Tokimasa. The second is an ancient order, over a thousand years old. Huh. Hmm? What's that you're holding? <laughs> Ito, stop, stop scaring me by picking up the by putting the mask up in front of me all of a sudden. I was told it's related to the Kamen Kai, uh, the newer one, that you could tell me about it. Ah, that explains many things, child. A far-off look in your eyes, for one. I imagine you have many, many questions. Masks are interesting, are they not? They are meant to be a disguise, and yet a mask cannot lie or contort itself to hide the truth. In that sense, it is the mask that is more truthful than the human faces we hide underneath them. <laughs> exactly, just straight up jump scare yourself. How about this? <laughs> I wonder how you came to be, to be in possession of an object with such a dark history. I think it might be related to a missing person, but I don't know anything about it beyond that. Ah, uh, but that itself is the essence of history. Layers upon layers of personal connections that are continuously peeled back to their root. Relics like the one you hold often take unusual routes to where they end up. Relic? If it's from the common guy caught from the 90s, then I'd hardly call it a relic. Misguided and deceptive as he was, Tokimasa was no fool. In order to gain new followers, he needed to give his cult historical legitimacy. He collected obscure objects and gave them new meanings that he could control in order to, mani in order to manipulate his followers. Ah, that, uh... Exactly. The mask was what he chose, along with the name of the group that created it. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Only... I guess I was hoping that you could tell me some other things about it. For, for instance. Like, why? Hmm, now that I'm about to say it out loud, it sounds silly. I'm, I'm sorry I bothered you. Don't be silly. You wonder, for example, why holding the mask seems to take you to another place. Or perhaps why you can see visions that don't seem real. Why you feel a strong will exerting itself upon you. Oh, yes. I know all about those things, too. A strong will exerting, its, uh, exerting itself upon me that that uh, occasionally crops up to just uh, play that uh, Steve Harvey family feud clip, feud clip that just goes, Yes! Kill! Just playing that soundbite over and over again. Why mask make kill, exactly? How would you know about that? When Tokimasa was in possession of it, he believed it showed him a path to the realm of the gods. He wrote extensively on the subject. Though unlike most, I don't discount such phenomena as the readings of a madman with the, when the phenomena repeats itself. Do you two look into the inky blackness and seem familiar shapes in the shadows? Uh, not shadows. I see and hear people who are supposed to be dead. I find things I couldn't possibly have found otherwise. Hmm. Most interesting. Tell me, Detective. Uh, oh, apologies. Do you mind if I do you mind if I call you that? I don't remember telling you I was a, I was a detective. That is interesting. Ah, my mistake. You must forgive me. A slip of the tongue. Do you know me? I believe it was the way you carried yourself. Determined investigators such as yourself have such a sense of purpose in their mannerisms. You see. And you do seem rather determined to get to the bottom of whatever it is you're chasing. Tell me, does telling you that your experiences are not an illusion provide you any level of comfort? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I would die if, some, if it gave that answer. I would die. Oh, you didn't tell me. I just, read, I just read your title in the text box. I'm not sure, but I do feel something. Maybe hope? It's like I finally got a foothold on solid ground. Uh, oh, oh, that's that's fair. Uh, that's how I know you're a historian, Yasuhi Yasuhisa. Ah, yes. Knowledge is a light in dark places, is it not? 
would think a relic of such import would end up with a detective. Do you mind if I ask you something? Which do you believe? Are our lives controlled by fate? We measure the threads that determine our deeds, our wishes, and our ends the minute we come into existence. Or conversely, is our thread subject to the chaos inherent in our universe instead? Does it change according to our deeds that happens to and that which happens to us seemingly by accident? Do you believe it is fate or chance that decides which threads of life are cut short, which are followed? Oh boy. What do you think, chat? Is our fate determined from the beginning? Or is it determined by random chance? Yes, of course. Maybe you feel like your life has been somewhat out of your control as of late. Uh, control, huh? To be honest, I don't feel like I've had much of that since the mask came to me. That feels like the right answer, because it fits in with the themes that we've... Like our conversation with the Collector, and just generally... The running theme this playthrough is going. Lack of control. Who's pulling the strings? It's me. I'm pulling the strings. You said that the mask was made by old by the old common Kai. Why? Confusing me can't be the purpose it was made for. Ah yes, a more complicated answer than you then you have than you might have wished for. Indeed it should come as no surprise that the creation of such a mysterious object is equally enigmatic. Perhaps you could do me a favor. Don't worry, it's in relation to this very topic. An important book has gone missing from my shop. You could retrieve it for me. I feel it could shine a great deal of light on the subject. What kind of book? A book of the missing variety. <laughs> Darn times! That was a terrible tone voice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just... It concerns the mask bearer. Uh, mask bearer? Huh? That's, uh... That's me, right? Although you carry it, it does not make you its bearer. All will become clear when the book is returned to me. Sounds easy enough. Where can I start looking? Oh, he didn't go far. The man who has it is right outside this building, in fact. As I said, it's not much of an errand, but if I, of course, cannot leave my shop, I'm an NPC. He's right outside? This won't take long. I'll be right back. Uh, okay. Is it the Takayaki guy? Time to kill the time to kill the Takiyaki guy. Let's go at the tea shop. Hell, the tea shop next door? Isn't that place closed down? Closed? That can't be right. What else do you know about it? Your conjecture on this one. I think it might be owned by the kendo instructor from the dojo down the street on account of him being the only one I ever see in there. You might not believe me, but I swear I saw him in there chatting away to himself. Possibly he's a little nuts. But. Oh no. Can we only see... Oh. Is Yasuhisa kinda out of phase with reality? And we can see him because we have the mask. Oh shit. I didn't expect that. And again, it might be some super awesome kendo meditation technique. Oh man, why did I think of that before? Next time I ought to ask him for some pointers instead of spying on him, eh? Word through the grapevine is that he's a regional champion or something and has trained some of the best. Lots of cops train with him too, so he must be good. Maybe he's not so crazy after all. Speaking of which, I have a bit of a crazy question for you. I know you said it was closed, but, you, but do you know anything about a book taken from there? Maybe recently. I was led to believe that you would. Eh? <laughs> I, um... I... Oh, jeez. Go on. Like I said, the place has been empty for years. But you know, I spent a lot of time outside it, and half the time the door's wide open. It was one day a few months back, I decided to take a look around. Nothing suspicious or nothing, I was just curious, is all. 
Curiosity killed the cat, right? Don't tempt me. Kill, 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 kill. Anyway, it was all dusty and old, and there was all sorts of weird stuff laying around. So I might have taken a little souvenir. I mean, it wasn't super old or nothing, so I figured no one, would, no one would miss it. Besides, it wasn't for me. It was for my kid brother. I guy can get deep at the dumb sometimes. I try to be on standby for when that happens, you know? Ah, oh, yes. Bro, you're feeling down the dumbs. Here's a book about a cursed mask. So I figured a little gift would cheer him up. Back then, he was going to, through some particularly tough times. Oh, even worse. Here's a book about a cursed mask that I stole from an abandoned bookshop. His bitch wife, pardon my language, miss, had left him and taken their kid daughter with her. Oh. He still does talk about it, like he's in denial or something. Haruto is the epitome of, uh... Heart's in the right place, but, uh... There's a subreddit, it's called, like, A-I-T, A-I-T-E, Awesome Idea, Terrible Execution. I think that's, I think that's it? Good, I good idea, bad execution. Whoops, got off track, got off track again. I was heading to visit him with the uh, ill-gotten book when I get this phone call saying he was at the hospital. He would need an expensive sake and sleeping pill. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Thank God that idiot decided to do it at the bar he owns, with the door unlocked. The customer came in and called an ambulance. If it weren't for, if it weren't for that, I'm not sure he'd still, he'd still be here. That's quite a story. Sounds to me like he wanted to be found. Yeah, I think so, too. I think he was trying to ask for help in his own way. In any case, I took the book to him while he was in the hospital. I tried to show him that even when he was at his lowest, there was someone out there trying to do something nice for him, you know? Okay. It's... That's... Yeah, your heart's in the right place. I think it helped. For a minute, anyhow. Through the doctors let him leave, he went right back to that toxic little bar. I hope he's okay. He's got issues, but he's my little brother, and I worry about him. He's not been answering my phone calls lately. Is this Daiso? Officially, my brother's bitch ex wife, sorry again, had the brilliant idea to put his skill to work in a cheap part of town. Despite that, he's holding on to it with everything he's got. This has got to be Daiso, doesn't it? This place is slowly bankrupt, but he won't let it go. All he has to do is sign some paper and move on, but he can't. Something about it has its claws sank deep into him. I've been trying to get him to join me in my business for years. He's a great chef, and we can make a killing. This has got to be Daiso. From Shinjuku. Maybe it's not the same zone in a whole bar, but serving passers by and getting some sunshine is good for the soul. Plus, food stands are doing really well abroad, I hear. What's better than wasting away in Shinjuku, at any rate? Yep. Shinjuku? Yeah, in a slimy little side street. Anyway, if that book's important to you, he's probably still got it in his place. You want the address? Wait, I knew you looked familiar. Your brother's Daiso, right? Shit, Daiza. Damn. Damn, he's been through a lot, then. You know, I'm small world. It was probably the smile on my face that threw you off. Done. Tell him his brother Harado says hi. While you're at it, tell him that Takayaki stands are still the future of cuisine. And to get his butt over here. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, yeah, true. I'll do that. Thanks for all your help. You never know. Maybe... The Cursed Mask book is literally what's keeping him from giving up on, on Shinjuku. Also, the choice between Kab Kabuchiko and Asakusa... That feels like a legitimate route split, because now we're pretty much locked into fulfilling this quest line. Do we go in and see our... Okay, we can't even go in and see our gal at the butterfly. We 
can go see Daiso. Hi, Daiso. Hey, hey, Ayami. How can I help you today? Hey, Daiso, how are things? Oh, heh. You know, the same old, same old. Funny thing, I met your brother while I was at Nasakusa today. Haruto? You met Haruto? I really kind of hope that Haruto and Daiso uh, get a, a takoyaki food truck. Because that's the way forward. Pitch it to Haruto like, it's a food stand that you can take anywhere at any time. It's brilliant. It prints money. What are the chances? I know, right? Who knows? It was pretty random. He makes a killer takoyaki, by the way. Huh, who'd have thought? So is he still st selling takoyaki at his stand? Did he say anything? He is. He said to remind you that takoyaki stands are the future of cuisine. And you should go and help him. <laughs> yeah, you talked to Haruto, right? Always the optimist, that guy. I actually have a favor to ask you. Do you still have the book your brother gave you a few months ago? Huh. The only thing that guy gives me is headaches. Not sure if I can help you, Ayami. He said he'd g he said he gave it to you when you were in the hospital. Uh, oh, I... Uh, what makes you think I was in the hospital? I don't even go to the hospital for checkups. <laughs> he, he, he's very forthcoming about uh, your personal... Unfortunate suffering. Aside, that dolt's bringing me stuff all the time. Always trying to drag me kicking and screaming over to where the grass is greener. It would have been more recently. After a uh, rough patch. Maybe it was stupid to come and ask. Nayami's definitely trying to uh, handle this with some uh, tact. Oh, uh, no. No, it's fine. Oh, it. Always oh, running his mouth. Friggin' traitor. <laughs> Those were just some uh, hard times. Nothing serious. <laughs> I just drank too much, is all. <sighs> I'm sorry, Detective, but I don't want to talk about it. Alright, understood. I'm not here to dig up bad, bad memories, Daiso. Thanks. You said you, were, you said you were looking for a book, right? Truth is, I don't remember a book. I do remember Haruto giving me an old magazine, though, back in the hospital. It's one of those ones I used to read when I was younger, when things weren't quite so complicated. Eh? Wait there a second, I may have it in the storeroom still. Dang it, sorry Ayami, hold on a second. Amazing how much junk someone accumulates over the years. Maybe I should throw some of this old stuff out, huh? Here it is. It's yours, Dick, uh, I... Hello, Reina. Huh. Hey, no wonder I recognize that photo you brought by. It's the same girl. I don't name Ruby. Reina? No, Ruby. See? It says so right there on the cover. Pretty crazy that it was still in my shop. Guess that means you're still looking for her. Well, well, well. How are the turntables? Hmm, I wonder why we keep running into each other. Weird luck, I guess. Eh, I don't buy it. You're a hell of a detective. You must have a pretty sharp nose. Huh. If you say so, Daiso. Do you mind if I take this? Like I said, it's yours. About time I start getting rid of some of my old junk. It is the same photo, just... One cropped, two in color, and three without the, uh... Markings over the... F without the, uh, face crossed out. Thank you. See you around, Ayami. Take care, Daiso. Yeah, I mean that. Take take care of yourself, Daiso. You're a good dude. You're a real good dude. I can go in here, but I don't particularly want to. I don't really want to deal with blabber, blabbermouth, uh... That door's gonna be something down the line, isn't it? Still sad we can't go to Butterfly, but I suppose we locked ourselves out of that. Back to Asakusa we go.
Okay, we can't talk to you anymore. Ah, welcome back, detective. Is that my book I see in your hand? Yes, I'm a little surprised. Are you trying to tell me that Reyna is the mask bearer you talked about? That's hard to believe. Come on, Matt. Come on. Does it surprise you? After all, it is she who you see in the dark, is it not? Mouse, come on. The dark. That's what the Collector called it, too. How'd Reyna get tied up in all this? I only know that somehow the girl's path and the mask, masks collided as if by chance. What circumstances led to this intersection are a mystery, I'm afraid. It's got to be around the same time as the, uh... As the cult, too. Because, uh... People recognize the photo of Reyna. Mentioned that she was in big back in the 90s, right? Which kind of falls into the same time frame as the cult. People always see history as something in the distant past, involving old men in black and white pictures. That book and the girl are as much a part of history as the rest. The threads that connect the past to the present and people to each other are not always apparent. But peel back the layers of connection and the randomness of our universe neatly orders itself. A teen idol, an ancient order, the tool they created, and the detective who holds it now, forming a neat and tidy little line. Here was some sort of idol living in Tokyo, not part of a sleeper cell of some cult. Doesn't add up. Yeah. <laughs> Zodiac trial flashbacks. <laughs> Precisely. On that detective, we can agree. So why don't we start at the beginning? For how the mask ceased to be a mere object. The story starts in ancient times in the year 1333. Elite. Almost elite year. At that time, Kamakura was the capital of Japan. Eh? Led by the Hojo clan, it was a time of peace, prosperity, and enlightenment. Peace among men is cyclical, and like so many before them and so many after, their time of peace came to an end. The Nita clan, loyal to Emperor Go Daigo, led a siege against the Hojo controlled Kamakura. Yeah, it was the political city center of medieval Japan. They're not wrong. Taking the city as the tide recede, leaving a key passage open to the invaders. Hmm. The Hojo clan fled to the can caves of their family's temple. For them, there was no hope of victory or escape. They chose to retain their honor. Ah. Instead of surrendering the 870 Hojo samurai, including the last three regions, committed mass suicide. However, the Hojo and Nita clans, embroiled in their quest for the Empire, could not see the role they played in the plans of another group, the religious sect known as the Kamenkai. It is said that in the flames of Kamakura, a girl was seen wandering the streets, observing the carnage of the burning city. A girl lost to the histories by the name of Chikako... Chikako Shichijo last survivor of the Kamenkai, Chikako Shichijo. Okay, so what are the Kamenkai were trying to do? They failed. I mean, they all died, right? No, they did not fail. Everything went exactly as planned. Ah, there's the mask. Oh boy. Chikako Shichijo did not survive by chance. She was chosen. Chosen for what? To receive the blessing all the spiritual energy that so much death afforded become the first mask bearer mask bearer the common kai used the deaths of all those people to create this why a 
Legend has it, the common guy sought to contain the door, a rift leading to the spiritual realm, where our consciousness ceases to be, and time holds no meaning. A place where cause and effect could be changed. Oh. Outside the natural order. Why? Why spend so much human life and give up so much to do that? To stop it from being abused. Imagine being able to see the world as a god, so that the flow of time and the rules which govern our world are of no consequence. Thus, this is the power of the door. To a mortal mind, obsessed with the finality of death and meaninglessness ac and meaningless accomplishment, such power would corrupt absolutely. A power over death. So dark place was created to obscure the door and hide it from mortal eyes, along with a tool to control and see within the darkness. It's true. All of it. Sounds like a fairy tale, but it's true. Finding the door could be the key to breaking Tanaka back. Some doors, no matter how strong they call to us, are not meant to be opened, and the common guy willingly gave their lives to keep it that way. The mask opens the mind to all who come in contact with it, but is intended for its bearer. You just get to find the door may destroy you. The mask is the tool to see through the darkness. The darkness is the means of uh, obscuring the door. So the mask bearer is meant to be in the dark, protecting the door from them, from those who try to seek it out. Maybe you're right, but I can at least use it to find my way in the dark, just like the collector said. The only thing I don't get is how Reyna is connected to it. That is a mystery. As Mr. Kawana told you, the last known location of the mask was the Kabin Kai cult only a few decades ago. Much was suppressed about the Kamen Kai under Tokimasa. They existed. Then on March 4th, 1996, they met their end. There are many theories that the police killed them during their raid at the compound, or that someone within the cult had snapped and murdered the others. Nothing but conjecture, I'm afraid. The real answer lies somewhere deep within police records, and though I remain curious, it is not something I have access to. Perhaps the best place to start is there. Finding out about the last days of the Kamen Kai may help light your path to the truth. But I wonder if such an object, bred from suffering, can truly put an end to it. Is it you who can finally break this terrible cycle? Ah, I've spent a long time here. I'm tired. So tired. Farewell, detective. Well... That was a lot. Sitting there comfortably. The story announced that he casually laid out everything that I'm experiencing. Like he was reading it out of a book. A mass suicide, ancient groups, and a door to the spiritual realm. It sounds like a myth. An interesting story told to travelers in a bygone era. It's hard to believe that it relates to Rain, Reina and Kazuki. Can't see it. Bridge between the Kamakura Samurai young girl. He said Reyna fit into the story. She's a mask bearer. But how? Yasuhisa, the collector. I thought when I met them I'd encountered their world and could start to understand, however faintly. My intuition as a detective tells me they're hiding something from me still. If you're overthinking it, I need to keep going. That leads me back to, what day is it anyway? How long have I been chasing these leads? Day turns to night. The hours bleed into each other. Even the seasons don't seem to follow the natural order anymore. Everything's blurring together. Oh, my head. Maybe I should take my medication. Impossible as it seems. Following the old man's hunch is my best bet to finally understanding the mask. Even Takashi didn't really didn't know what was happening to the Captain Kai. Finding the police report is that. Finding the police report is the way forward. A few weeks ago but easy for me to ask around and pull a file. But now, unfortunately, uh, it's a bit more difficult a situation. It'll be a bit more difficult now, I imagine. What's the worst that could happen? I should head to police HQ and see what I can find. What's the worst that can happen? That's, uh, famous last words. I am me.
Well, there's only one way forward. We can't actually go back and take our medication. So let's just keep on keeping on. Oh, shit. You've got to be kidding me. Hi, Tyra. Funny, me and some of the other guys were just talking about you after practice the other day. Specifically, we were taking bets as to how long it would be before you showed your face again. Shame, you coming in here now tossed me 10,000 yen. Tch, not that it matters. Ever since you left, things are looking up for me. I won the last department kendo tournament and I've been enjoying my promotion. Oh yeah, thanks for the new office, by the way. Fuck you, Tyra. Enjoy your fucking, uh... Yeah, kill, 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 kill. Enjoy your fucking closet office. Anyway, non-active duty cops, or you, in other words, ain't allowed in HQ right now, so what do you want? I need a favor. Let's be nice. Oh man, this just gets better and better. Begging me for a favor, huh? Kinda figured you might someday. Oh, shut up. So what do you want me to do, Ito? Sneak into the evidence locker? Steal their gun back for you? <laughs> I'd like to do anything for you. Brass, I've already told everyone in the damn station to steer clear of you. Considered bad luck for people's careers. Well, myself excluded, I suppose. <laughs> Never have I ever wanted more to for... Uh... Get an office gossip to come true. I want to be bad luck for your career, Tyra. Wouldn't expect anyone to do you any favors from here on out if I were you. I'd rather not people see us talking and think that we're all friendly or something. Now get out, before I have to call someone down here. Let's exit. Huh. Back to Asakusa, huh? Seems to be the only destination we have. Can't go in. Hmm. I'm surprised to see you're back. How can I help you, detective? Uh, let's ask about this. I'm curious. I spoke to Yasuhisa, the historian. Oh, good. And? Takashi, what is he? Hm? I don't understand your question. He's one of them. Them? Ito, are you right? He's just an old man. What else would he be? No, Takashi, you must have noticed. There's something off about him. Like the collector, but no, not exactly like him. I'm not sure what Yasuhisa told you to scare you like this, but I've known him for years. He's a bit eccentric and too philosophical for his own good, but he's harmless. I think what we're trying to say to you, Takashi, is that... Someone has observed you in there, talking to no one. So you're the... You and I are the only ones who can see Yasuhisa. Allow me to offer some advice. What you're feeling right now, it's not him. It's you. The more time I spent researching the common Kai in the past, the more I began to feel the world had gone mad. But it didn't. It continued to turn on its axis as it always does. It was me who became unhinged. You could always walk away, Detective Ito. Some mysteries aren't worth solving. You're gonna train us? I was told your dojo trains a lot of people in the police. That's right, I trade many of them personally. Do you know Akira Taira, a detective from Tokyo HQ? Ah, yes. Detective Taira. I know him quite well. A man with a great deal of innate talent in martial arts. Though that talent is offset somewhat by his, uh... How do you put this? Uh, brash personality. Brash is a very diplomatic way to put it. Yeah, at this point, it's... At this point... It's a bit too late to turn back for Ayami. I'm sorry to put you on the spot, but Tyra's about the only useful link I've got left in the police force and the one person who's trying to stop me the most. 
Seeing as you trade with him all the time, I was hoping you might, um, know something that would change his mind, if you know what I mean. Are you asking me to help you blackmail Tyra? Beyond the obvious reasons why I wouldn't help you do that, I also happen to think it won't work. You may be surprised to hear this, but Detective Tyra actually lives a fairly straightforward life. His successes are nothing but withdrawal and scrutiny. At least, uh, not among his fellow officers. I hear he is engaged to be married soon as well. Someone actually agreed to marry that slime? That poor girl? Yes, a very nice girl. Apparently, they're quite happy together. Oh, yeah? Hmm. We'll see how long that lasts. May I ask what exactly Tyra did to you that made you feel so... to make you feel so strongly? Did to me? Huh. You should, you should be asking him that. Ever since I started, he's looked down on me. Never missed a chance to remind me how he felt. I ignored him because I figured if I worked hard enough and earned my promotion, that it would shut him up once and for all. You eventually got this promotion, I take it. Well, did he shut up like you thought? No, he got worse. It started with him spreading rumors about me sleeping around in HQ. Then there were various complaints to my supervisor. He couldn't stand that I've won. It's all falling apart now, though, huh? He got my old job, and every time I see him, he has that smug grin on his stupid face like he's mocking me. Hmm. So you hate the fact that, at least in his mind, he was right. Something like that. Tyra's not the first person to think a woman didn't deserve the promotion I got, but it stung a little extra when he ended up at my desk. He is very much a sexist jerk. I do not blame Ayami for questioning who in their right mind would marry him. So from Ayami's perspective... You couldn't... Right to the... Oh god, the calendar fell off your wall. It's the mask, Dirk! It's there, watching you! Hmm, yes, I thought as much. You're not saying you think that brown-nosing, womanizing, lazy, good-for-nothing asshole actually deserves my spot, are you? I know, I can't judge the other workers for police force, but from what I've heard, it certainly wouldn't be the first time an officer didn't earn their promotion, honestly. Often I watch my students spar, and I always notice an interesting trend. You see, the out usually the outcome of matches has have nothing to do with their skill. Is there a moral at the end of the story? Patience, Ito. You see, two students will face will face each other, but before they even draw their swords, they've decided the outcome. Students rank each other and themselves based on practice, their social statuses, their schools, or any number of different things. Or they even enter my dojo. A student perceiving himself as stronger will always be more relaxed, more ready to attack, while the student who's resigned themselves to defeat and desperately defends. Yeah, but we're, but we're not gonna... We're not, we're not going there. The point is, from Ayami's, pers Ayami's perspective, it makes perfect sense why she would think that. Because her experience of him is as a... Uh, Massive narcissist and sexist jerk. It's not skill or merit that wins the battle, it's expectations. Do you see where I'm going with this? I do, but I'm not sure if I like it. You're saying that unless I can break Tyra's perception of me, I'll keep losing, right? Hmm, exactly. For a man like Tyra, who expects th certain things of women, we've defied him at every turn, but... I suck up to him and play the part, might throw him off guard enough for me to win the fight. Sound about right? Oh, I don't like this either, Ayami. Very perceptive. Yeah, this should help. Sake? It's a gift. Wow, that's so flattering. I barely even know you. I suppose in order to degrade myself to scum like Tyra, I could use a drink. <laughs> Give it to him. It's not for you. It's for Tyra. Oh, and here I was thinking you were being nice. I am being nice. I'm trying to help you get in with... I'm trying to help you suck up to Tyra to beat him and get what you want from him. This is a very expensive brand. As a matter of fact, it's Tyra's favorite. A gift for his promotion. Not promotion he stole. Promotion into my position. Yes, uh, that is true. <laughs> but in this case, unfortunately, we have to suck up to him to get what we want. Unless we want to do a violence on him. Which I kind of do now. Think of it as a way to throw him off balance. You can't strike at his heart until he drops his guard, after all. You know how to play the role he expects of you. I suspect you know the type of woman he likes. The 
Yep, yeah, that's... That's exactly the point I didn't want to feel comfortable saying. He would probably see more, much more appealing to a woman who doesn't threaten or challenge him. And he'd probably come off a lot better to someone who doesn't threaten his... his place in the world. Hmm. Which it pains me to admit that might work. Thanks for the sake. Ah, psh, we can drink the sake! But we're... We're gonna try and go for, uh... Peaceful. I can't imagine drinking the sake would do us any favors with the... Encountering... Tyra again. Oh! I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm sorry. I said, Ito, I've heard enough of you. Wait, what? You heard it right, Tyra. I'm sorry. You're a good detective, and I never did congratulate you on your promotion. Here, this is for you. Oh, I get it. Do you think bribing's, bribing me is going to work, huh? Ken... Kendo Michi? Is that a bottle of Kendo Michi? No way, it sells out in weeks. Even my family barely managed to get a bottle, and they knew the people to ask. How'd you get it? Bring Tyra the Octopus, yes, exactly. That's not important. Consider it an apology for how I've treated you in the past. I present this to you as a way to formally hand over my old position to you. It's clearly in better hands now. <laughs> these these wounds are hurting her to the very bone. But, uh... I... But, oh, oh god. Speaking of hurting to the very bone, that... That hurts... That hurts me. That hurts me. Oh god. Why, but... Big hurt. Big ouchie. Ito. Sit up, will ya? Ito, it's fine. Just sit up already. Okay, okay, I accept your apology. Hell, I didn't know you felt that way. I mean, in light of the recent events and all, it's long overdue. I guess with all the uh, stress you've gone through, the delay is understandable. Glad you've finally learned to manage your emotions appropriately. <laughs> violence, violence, violence. Kill, 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 kill. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, 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 kill. 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 Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill, kill. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I have to play this now. I can't not. It, uh, it, it, uh, hey, Manji. If you have an option to shoot him later, we may have passed up on a, uh, yeah, we need to activate right now. We may, eh? We, uh, absolutely, uh... Sorry, Mask did it. We did pass up on a chance in violence to try and get through this, uh, non-violently, but, uh... The non-violent outcome of this encounter is uh, making me wish I had not passed up on violence. I mean... If only. God, that, that line makes me want to punch his fucking face. Thank you for your kind words, Detective Tyra. Once I return to the department, I'll know I'll have much to learn from you. Oh. Hey, it's a little early for that talk, don't you think? I don't even know if they'll let you back on the force after the hearing. Yes, I suppose you're right, Detective. I shouldn't have spoken so brashly. Oh. Uh. 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 Ito, stop that! Please! I always thought you'd be a better cop if you listened to your fellow detectives a bit more. I suppose there's a lot you have to learn from me, eh? I know you're right, Detective Tyra. I was so brash before. That's probably how I ended up here. Uh, yeah, no problem. Thanks for dropping this by, Ito. To tell you the truth, it's been a tough time for all of us. It's better to stick together. 
We're all the same team after all, right? Maybe once you're back, me and you could partner up. We're on the same team. Uh, yeah. I, I, I do like how, com how uncomfortable it makes him, but it also hurts my heart seeing her like this. And that comment about managing your emotions just makes me want to punch your fucking face in. It's fucking... No, that's... That's prime top tier S tier sexist rhetoric. I hate that shit. One can only hope I'll be so lucky. Right, right. Look, I gotta get back to my office. You, uh, you need anything else? I was thinking, but... Oh, no, I couldn't possibly bother you. You're so busy. That's fine. I can handle it. Go on. I know I shouldn't be, but I've been doing little research in an unofficial capacity, you know? I was wondering if you could pull the file for me. You know I can't give you access to the system. You're suspended, and besides, it'd be against regulations, and... I guess if you stay on that side of the counter, I could get Ishibashi to help you. I don't think this means we're best friends or anything. It's just repayment for the Kendo Michi. Oh, thank you. But Tyra... Uh, Detective Tyra, I wouldn't want to impose on your busy schedule. Oh, that hurts me. I can't stand up. Saki, I'm going back to my office. Look up the file Ito once. Log the search, qual search query to my name. Got it? Yes, sir. Of course. I'll be in my new office all afternoon, so direct any calls there. Clear? Yes, sir. I think he's gone. Damn, Ayami. I mean, I've twisted some guys around my finger before, but that was something else. Don't think it'll take long to get you to your office back if you keep working that magic. That. Uh, Ayami, listen to me. Very closely. It's very, very important you train me how to do that. For, uh, professional purposes. <laughs> I think you're alright on your own, Saki. It, you're... You're charms. You're a good person, Saki. Saki, Saki, sweet, sweet Saki. I don't think it's... Ugh. Oh, fine, be that way. Anyway, you got Tyra's sign off. What do you want me to look up for you? Saki, you can't possibly understand how painful it must have been for Ayami. On March 4th, 1996, there was a raid on a compound belonging to a cult called the Common Kai. Like the official report, plus anything else you can find on it. Wow, that's some heavy reading material. Get right on it, boss. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's much to go on here. Looks like there's only one file. Righto, I'll put it on a USB for you so you can take it with you. Just don't tell anyone. There you go. Hey, I'm definitely not telling anyone. After all, this is uh, Tyra's search. Uh, Tyra's information. Uh, and would the department really believe Tyra if he uh, was asked about this search and said that uh, Detective Ito was in here uh, bowing and kowtowing and kissing his feet to... Uh, Get this file from him? Thanks, Saki. I owe you one. I owe you two. You owe me more than one, Ayami. Oof. See you around. Oof. The game is the game is judging me for this. The achievement that just popped for this was called submission. That hurts me. That hurts my heart. I'm so sorry, Ayami, for making you do this. If you get a way to get through this and branch through this real quick post-game with New Game Plus and ending hunting and the like. We are going to do a violence to Tyra. Next chance we get. Can't even take medication. We're just looking at the laptop. Can't exit. But yeah, this is our one choice here. Hmm, it's like something doesn't smell right. There's a raid on a compound and all that's left is this lone debriefing? It doesn't add up. Not to mention so, so much of what here is redacted. Officers arriving at the scene found 12 people dead on arrival, including Tokimasa and Mai's parents. Where are the details about how they died? Not to mention the report itself was filed almost a week after the raid. So why aren't there any autopsy reports? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, ideally. It says here, two children and one adult are believed missing. That must be my Takashi and their grandmother. D yeah, you don't want your USB drive to literally smell like something. That would be bad. Because that means Takashi was telling the truth after all. So many people have been hiding information from me, it's almost a relief. Still, for such a short report, it raises a whole lot of questions. A list of the dead, their causes of death. If there are other survivors, what else they found? It's all lost. Even the location of the compound has been classified. All I know is that the mask was found in the middle of a pile of dead bodies. What the hell happened here? Why was it covered up? Okay, let's actually read this shit here. Let's see. Debrief report, incident report. 51115, reporting officer redacted, agency bureau redacted, address redacted. Report 4 March 1996, date report 9 March 1996, time of incident approximately 5.50. Tasked with raiding combat belonging to Colton and his common guy, located and redacted. Mission details redacted. Arrived to discover 12 bodies, DOA near combat, including Colt leader. Shinji, Shinji Umizawa. A.K.A. Tokimasa. Other bodies include six females and three other males of varying ages, along with two children. Cause of death redacted. Two children? That's interesting. I wonder if that means anything. Two other children and one adult considered missing may be dead. Other survivors redacted. Something was redacted means someone else, someone else might have survived. Did Reina survive this? Original effects collected at Sienna Crab include masks and several other ritual objects. Raid considered a success. Cult known as Kavin Kai. Its activities have ceased. Surviving members have been rescued. Which means that there were surviving members. Interesting. The report is unclear, but it's obvious something terrible happened at the Kavin Kai compound. Without the mask had a part to play in those twelve people's deaths in one way or another, it found its way to Reyna afterwards. It said she was searching for the door, which means her connection to it is no mere coincidence either. The collector said the path of the dark would never reveal itself unless I understood her past. Report is a dead end for now. He gave me another lead, a talent agency called Omega in Kabuchiko. Not a whole lot to go on, but maybe I'll find the connection I need to connect the dots. Now all I can do is go to Kabuchiko and ask around. We are very meticulous, so we could afford to take a pill. The pills that the doctor gave me are right on the table where Kazuki left them. I'm not pissed about my healthy when he's gone. I hate these pills, but I'll keep taking them for your sake. She does look so tired there. even mention it, but since we can keep, since we can take more when prompted, I wonder if that's a road to a bad ending. I don't really want to find out, though. Kabuchiko, here we go. Kabuchiko, here we Kabuchiko. Yeah, that's not an outcome we want. Be, uh... Be right back momentarily. Very short break, just want to grab some water on hand. Make sure you hydrate, everyone. Be right back.
hydrate before you dehydrate. Okay. Are you back on? Ready to continue? Give me a heads up, make let me know I'm back on. We are two hours in after all. We are uh, going quite nicely though. It would seem that we made it through the uh, Kamakura loop anyways. So it seems like the choice we had before isn't a round split after all. We need to do both to truly understand. I do wonder if which we do first makes a difference. Kamakura or Kabuchiko. Well, it's time to go to Kabuchiko. Whoa! Collected mentioned a talent agency by the name of Omega here in Kabuchiko with ties to Reina. This is the big sign advertising it, which I highly doubt I'll need to ask around to find it. Whoa! What is that? I don't like the voices in this, uh, Kabuchiko track. Based on the dragon motif, and the general vibe around this building, I'd guess this place is no normal bar. Who knows how many other places around here the Yakuza have dipped their fingers into? The last thing we want to deal with right now is the Yakuza. Tops? Three faces in uniform that I don't recognize, though I doubt they'll have a hard time recognizing me. The way they're huddled around, it hardly looks like they're doing much police work. More than a few violations probably pass under their noses, but I wouldn't be surprised if someone slipped them a bit of cash on the side to ignore them. Cops like that probably wouldn't give me any trouble. They definitely aren't going to blab to their superiors about seeing me in Kabuchika. Hey, hold up. Don't I know you? Uh, yeah. Yes. I mean... Don't really. Uh, do not want Cosmo Q to you uh, jumping out and trying to fight me. However, if we could recruit him onto our side, that might be beneficial, man. Die. There you, there you go, Banji. That's, that's the one we want to avoid. We don't want to have uh, anyone hiding within the... Hiding out with an eye patch, uh, stalking us and trying to fight us wherever we go. We don't want that outcome. Yeah, if, if we can get Kiryu on our side, though, that'd be good. Uh, who, me? Yeah, you. Unless you're hiding something behind your back. Aren't you the detective whose face was all over town a few weeks back? Yeah, yeah, that's it. How oh, didn't I recognize you before? Hey guys, didn't someone from HQ come by and ask us about it earlier? Maybe we should call it in. Hold on, Denjiro. You really think that's a good idea? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm not risking my job over some nobody detectives. Yeah, well, call it in the HQ and you might be risking more than your job, if you know what I mean. Ryu's right. Why should we stick our necks out when she hasn't even done anything wrong? Being on leave don't mean she can't walk around, does it? I'm with Ryu. I need to remind you boys what happens when you ruffle the wrong feathers at HQ. You guys can't be serious. Look, I'm not saying we arrest her, only. Only you're going to piss off the wrong people, Denjiro. I don't know much about her. I don't know how much more obvious need to be for you to get it. No one, not even the detective here, is worth bringing down her wrath. Huh? Especially right now. Things aren't exactly on stable ground around here since the, Mif since the Mifune family shakeup. Eh? Don't need a repeat of officer, oh no. Thank for promotion one day, and then some anonymous tip comes in to each queue that Ono's been selling a little dope on the side. Even got a gun to tie him to a crime scene. Oh. Yeah, a gun that's mysteriously gone missing from evidence. You think that story's true? Does it really matter if it is or not? When is he asked too many questions around here, and now he's in jail? Hmm. Some police we are. Held hostage by some woman. Ah, oh, screw it. Maybe you guys are right. Oh. Are, are we going to have an encounter with the Yakuza here after all? It 
seems like they've got some uh, Yakuza with hands in the police department. What was that guy from HQ asks again? We can say we didn't see any detective tonight. That's right, we did see you, and you definitely didn't talk to us. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Being on the street around here isn't exactly an easy position to be in, huh? Tch, I mean at the bottom. Yeah, it doesn't give us a whole lot of options. Feels like I'm always stuck between HQ and all the other shit going on around here. I'm not sure which is worse, honestly. You read the papers, don't you, Detective? You heard about the Mifune family, right? Yeah, I'm sure she has. And that's all you need to say on the subject. You never know who's working for who around here, so put a lid on it. This is Detective. Whatever you think we are, what you think goes on around here, isn't so simple as good cops and bad cops. Remember that. Uchiko may not, might not be perfect, but we do our best to keep the peace. Right? Right. Right. There are very much good cops and bad cops, but there's also good cops put in bad positions. Good cops doing... Obviously, the instance that they're referring to here with Ono is a... It's a case of good cops doing the right thing and being shut down for it. Like Ryu said, we're trying our best, so don't cause any trouble for us, but we'll turn the favor by not letting HQ know about this. Hmm. That's plenty, there's plenty scarier than HQ out there. That's for sure. Why don't you move along, detective? I think I'll do just that. Good luck, officers. Queen's Club. I think this club's pretty popular. There's always a lot of customers. We're talking to one of the regulars. would give me a good idea of where to start looking for Omega. These guys look like Star Wars cosplayers. No, they're... They got helmets on. They're doing construction work. This is their only choice, so... Oh, that's a... There is dancing going on in here. Uh, that's right, Rip. They do look like... They do kind of look like the Mythbus Mythbusters. Oh, hello there. Can I ask you something? I had to... Whoa, 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 I wasn't doing anything. You're a cop, right? Nope, you got me all wrong. Looking for a talent agency by the name of Omega. Why do you think I was a cop? Whew, only cops ask them any questions right off the bat. Well, that you're a costume fool. fool. Don't be careful walking around like that. You know, he's got a point. Oh, I got it. You're some kind of performer, right? What are you doing looking for Omega? Omega's a wash. You won't get any work from them. Worry not, sweetheart. It just so happens I work for one of the best agencies in town. You are in the Kiryu suit, got him. Music is kind of loud, isn't it? We at all types. Models, performers, actors, you name it. Oh, it's getting loud. Can you still hear me over the music in here? If not, I can turn it down a little bit. Even mature women such as yourself will have no problem finding work through us. That is, if you're fine with, um, uh, staying in costume. And, uh... I think better. Oh, wrong button. All right. My lucky day. That's a spirit. Have a drink with me, babe. I'll get you signed up. I'm sure I can find work for you in no time. Well, like I said, I'm looking for Omega. A friend of mine recommended them, so it'd be rude to not talk them. Talk to them at least, right? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> if you ask me, your friend's got no taste. You shouldn't waste your time with those losers. No one's even seen those their guys around for months. Word in the streets that they ran up a bit of a debt with the wrong people, if you know what I mean. 
Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, you didn't hear that from me. You know where I am if you want a real chance, babe. Alrighty. Oh, hey, you look... Friendly. Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure, you don't need my permission. You have an agency around here called Omega. Omega? No, it doesn't ring a bell. Why? What's it to you? I'm looking for a missing girl. Missing, huh? Was she foreign? Working for a nightclub? If you're working for some, for some of the other uh, types of clubs. I don't remember asking your opinion on the girl, only if you knew about the agency. Either way, it's the same. I don't know no Omega. You probably won't find her, even if I even if I did. Girls go missing all the time around here if you catch my drift. Care to be more specific? No, I don't. But I don't think you delicate types can handle it. Let's just say not everyone is as nice to the ladies in those places as I am, and leave it at that. Stir the pot with questions like that and you're bound to end up in trouble. If you want help, go ask someone else. I mean, okay. Oh, hey, you're back. Oh, I wasn't doing anything. You're a cop, right? How big loop is that? Huh? Are we getting in the loop here? How do I get out of here? Oh, okay. Oh, we can move through here. I'm... I thought, I thought this was a static. I didn't realize Ayami was there. I thought it was just like a static interior screen. Okay, now we're here. Oh, Larry Butts, what are you doing here? Hello, can you spare a minute? X. Whoa, how long have you been standing there? Me, I just got here. Why so jumpy? Yeah, <laughs> sorry. It's a big scary guy with a scar here, though, before you. Acted friendly enough, but made me feel a little uneasy. Kept me asking, kept asking me what I was doing here. If I wanted to go somewhere and have a drink with his friends. Honestly, I've been waiting for a good moment to duck out. Well, that's concerning. I think you made the right decision by staying put, if you ask me. Have you ever heard of a talent agency around here called Omega, by chance? Omega? No, never heard of it. I'm actually not ever in this part of town. I suppose the only uh, cue that you're in, that this is a movable area, is that the shadow people resemble the shadow people that walk by in the foreground on normal street views, but it still wasn't obvious the way they presented that. I'm actually not ever in this part of town. A friend of a friend invited me out here for a few drinks, but she hasn't known, shown her face yet. It's starting to stink of some sort of weird setup. Anyway, I still have some pride, so I'm not going to tuck my tail and run just yet. Tuck your tail and run, dude. Good luck finding that agency or whatever you're looking for. If you see that guy I mentioned earlier, watch your back. Oh. Roland, the Library of Ruina. What are you doing here? Evening. You know anything about a talent agency called Omega? I knew you were, they were based here. I heard they were based here. Are you insane? It's not like I'm asking you to take me there personally. What's the issue? You do know where you are, don't you? Mega ran up against some people, the same people who owned this club, and they lost. Mifune Taker was already racked up quite the body count. I don't plan on being added to it. Oh. That's concerning. Not sure who you're working for, but you come out a bit of a sensitive time. If I were you, I'd turn around and walk out the door. Hell, she'll pr she probably killed him, too. Kill killed who? Him, you know, Higashi, the owner of Omega. Higashi? I read we owned the Mifune family a small fortune. Word of the street is that there's been a little spring cleaning of any disloyal retainers. Do I need to spell it out for you? Good. But he said too much and you should stop asking around, too. You never know who's listening. Let us keep asking around. Oh, hello, you're a guy. 
Oh, God. Hey, can I ask you something? About mm -hmm. Italian she called Omega. You know anything? Uh. All right, I'll take that as a no. Uh. Uh. Goodbye. Hey, do you know this area? What? I had a question about... What? Speak up! I can't hear you! The speaker's right there. You're going to have to talk louder. Looking for an agency. We're looking for a vacancy? In what? No one... Your what? I'm looking... Oh my... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm looking for information about Omega Talent Agency. Do you know anything? <laughs> it was at this moment, Ayame Ito realized she fucked up. <laughs> Whoa. You really shouldn't shout things like that around here. Uh-oh. Excuse me, miss. We were really hoping you might join us next door. Consider it an invitation from an admirer. Besides, it's a much nicer venue than this dump. Hmm. Yeah, in fact, we'd be happy to escort you. Who are you? Who do you think? We're just businessmen doing our business. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think? Should we refuse them? Why is this open? I can close. feels like a very bad idea to refuse. <laughs> I hope there's not combat in this game. That would be terrible. Many bicycles in sight. Yeah. We can refuse. That's, uh. Go, 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 go. We can refuse. I don't know if it's a good idea. It might be a but thou must. All right, let's go. Good answer. Follow us. Yeah. <laughs> we'll come back to that. Hmm. Don't like the looks of this. Welcome. Come in. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kasumi Mifume. Mifune. Appreciate you coming by to talk. Hmm. Your thugs didn't give me much of an option. Well, you think you are calling me a thug? Legitimate businessman. We're businessmen. You got that? She is pretty. Oh, I've got it all right, but don't think that dressing in a suit makes you any less of a thug. Say to the word, you cop bitch. Enough. You say another word, and I'll make you wish you hadn't. Now get out, both of you. I think you are ready. Yes, boss. My apologies. The quality of help you can find these days isn't quite up to the standard that it was in my father's time. 
Wild dogs can be difficult to train, but they'll come around. Even if I have to beat it into them. I like you already. <laughs> Sit down. Relax. Can I get you a drink? Hmm. Uh, yes, Dark, I approve. I approve, Dark. I Already, yes. What do you say? Have a drink? It can't hurt, right? We're not on the job. We'll take a hit to professionalism, but... Yeah. We've got ten or so to spare. We're staying right in the middle of the road. Besides, we're not officially uh, on duty anyways. So what What can it hurt? Right? What do you say? Whiskey or no whiskey? But why not get wasted? <laughs> Fair point, Dark. We're probably not in a position to refuse. But you never know, she might be reasonable. Alright, fine. Minus ten. See. Someone get her a glass, and one for me as well. Why don't we skip the small talk and you tell me why I'm here? I'm getting to that. Seems you're a woman who doesn't like to waste time. Good. As luck would have it, neither am I. See? It's a match maiden? Let's get right to it. A short while ago, a couple of men downstairs ran up to tell me you, a cop, had walked past my barn into one of my nightclubs. That's pretty much what we that's pretty much what we took at the beginning of the game when we had an option to take a drink. Then I hear you've been sniffing around, asking about one of my investments. Investments? You mean Omega? Smart girl. Tell me I tell me, Ayami Ito. Why is it that a cop is going around asking pointed questions like that? More curious still, not just any cop, but a publicly shamed cop on leave. A shame cop who's had a history of, uh... How do they word it? Ah, yes. A history of psychotic episodes. Blech. How do you know all that? I watch the news. We all have friends, Detective Ito. When detectives are wandering around my part of the city, my friends tell me everything I want to know. Honestly, you don't seem all that crazy to me. As to why you were after Omega, let's say you piqued my interest. Sorry, look at us. You said no small talk, and here we are, off in the bushes somewhere. Let's get back on track, shall we? As you're not acting in any official capacity, it's safe to say that no one knows you're here, correct? No, I suppose they don't. Hm. Your position, I might have tried to lie, but I appreciate the honesty. It was a rhetorical question, anyway. I know for a fact there's no one coming for you. Funny, you don't strike me as the stupid type, and yet you've willingly entered a den of vipers. Valid your neck staying on your shoulders, surely you wouldn't do something so reckless. You can skip the threats. If you wanted to do something to me, you'd have done it already. Plus, you're smart enough to know not to hurt a cop, even one in my position. <laughs> Good. I like you. Given your prickly demeanor, I doubt you're working with one of my competitors. You're definitely not here for your police buddies. Okay, I give up. I have to know. What exactly is it you want to know about Omega? The answer might surprise you, Kasumi. I'm looking for this girl. Her name is Reina. I was told she was involved with the agency somehow. I want to know what happened to her. How very noble of you. Figuring, th figuring that out might be a bit difficult, as I'm afraid Omega is an extremely recent acquisition. Get back farther, you'll have to talk to its president and former owner, a man named Eiji Higashi. It just so happens that makes two of us who'd like to have a word with him. Like peas in a bod, us two. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> I suppose professionalism is a... I guess professionalism is specifically related to uh, cop stuff.
Which makes me wonder, did we gain professionalism by uh, kowtowing to uh, Tyra earlier? Does anyone, does anyone remember from earlier on in the stream, like an hour ago, did we gain professionalism by uh, being submissive to him, congratulating him on his promotion? Yes. Okay, then yeah, professionalism is directly related to police procedure. It's like, uh... The stuff you'd have to do in a police quest game. I suppose we can, th we can think of the professionalism, uh, the sliding scale professionalism like that. We gain professionalism by doing stuff that would gain us points in a police quest game. We lose professionalism by, uh, I suppose in that sense, max professionalism is always on the job. Minimum professionalism is, uh, yeah, I think, I think it was 10 in Lilac. And really that says everything we need to know about, uh, the professionalism scale. I do not want to max that scale out, seeing the toll it took on Ayami just to gain 10 professionalism. No thanks. I can live with that. Like peas in a pod, us two. Unfortunately, when he handed over the business, he became a bit, how should I put it, forgetful about his outstanding debts to us. Yes. And the poor thing is so scared of me that he's been ignoring all my calls. Probably thinking I'm doing, I'd am doing, do something awful to him if I found him. Does anyone remember the station, mas the station master's name in Kamakura? I can't imagine how we'd get that idea. Can you? He'd prefer talking to a police officer instead of talking to me. I'm not some green recruit. I know how this works by now. What's the catch? You'd never tell me where he was, and send me on my way for nothing. Of course I wouldn't. You have to prove that you can be trusted first. Someone else I need you to talk with. A bit of a softer target than Higashi. Because I feel like... It might be. Pretty good deal, right? Everything you're looking for in exchange for one little job. Hmm. Okay, now this might be a bigger professional hit. Now we've got a bit of a more questionable choice, let's say. Do we go to work for her? Then again, if Higashi is The name Higashi is who I is who I think it is. Yeah, I think you're right, Beth. But so, what do you say? Do we get in? Do we get in with the Aksa? I mean, she seems perfectly nice. Yeah. Screw the professionalism, yeah. We know what it takes to gain professionalism, and do we really want that? Also, this is a very obvious professionalism loss. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it does get awkward if we revive. If we manage to revive our fiance, but it also gets awkward if we go back to work at the department. If the department lets us back after all this shit. Yeah, 
maybe she'll appreciate our resistance. Uh... Alright, let's refuse. Vigilant plus five. Oh, don't make things more difficult than it has to be. You'll agree eventually. So why fight it? I know a lot about you. Top of your class, one of the best detectives on the force. Wouldn't let something as pesky as morals get in the way of good information, would you? I've heard about you too, Cosme Mifune. More accurately, I heard a lot about your father. Hmm, as you should. My father was a good man. Not surprising you know more about him than me. That'll change soon enough. There won't be a footnote in his story much longer. My father always undervalued the power of information, but I really get to know the people I associate with. You, for instance. Everything you've done paints the picture of someone who's very determined and very desperate to find this girl of yours. Don't let other people tell you otherwise, Detective. I think those traits are a wonderful combination. Ah, oh, it also means you don't have a whole lot of bargaining power right now. If you don't want to work with me, that's fine. You can go home and quietly overdose on whatever medication they've got you taking instead. Oof. That's a... that's a threat. Furthermore, I could we just refuse your request altogether, but that'd be so boring. That was a very casual threat to, uh, Ayami's life here. That was a very casual threat. We both need something, so let's help each other instead. Do the job I ask, and I'll tell you what I know about little Higashi. As I was saying, like him, there's another business owner in Akihaba, Akihabara, who's unfortunately behind on her payments as well. Akihabara? Oh. That's a shame, too. I really wanted a straightforward relationship with this one. See, I help out with a few things. In exchange, she kicks back a little of her business. Sometimes we send over new contracts to renegotiate the terms of our mutually beneficial relationship. Sadly, she's regret neglected to sign the newest one. It's the Cat Cafe, isn't it? Not the Cat Cafe. Yeah, it's, it's gotta be the Cat Cafe. Gotta be the Cat Cafe, and the guy who... Uh, no. No, that, that I was gonna say my initial thought that's that the guy who lives above the cat cafe works for Kasumi. Oh. I'm a cop, not some Yakuza debt collector. Do it yourself. Uh uh uh. Suspended cop. You can't parade your badge around as proof that you're some white knight anymore. Due to the recent, uh, transition of power, I can't do it myself just this minute. Dogs at the Tokyo Police Headquarters start panic- start panting whenever me or my- any of my men are seen outside of Kabuchiko. Now, specifically- specifically a she, Rev, so it's gotta be Cat Cafe. Those are realistically the only owners we know. Gotta be Cat Cafe. Not asking you to club someone's head in. I ask you to give them a friendly reminder to keep up to date on their paperwork. Yeah, the comic shop owner was essentially Daru Steinsgate. <laughs> Easy, right? Here, take it. Do this for me, and I'll feel a lot more comfortable giving out information about Omega. Also, I'll remind you with your impending review, it would be unseemly if it got out that you were meeting with a Yakuza, wasn't it? Blackmail, huh? That's such an ugly word. The I thought we were becoming friends. No, no, I'm just stating the facts of the situation is all. The business you're going to is a cat cafe in Akihabara. Uh, yep. Kazu can give you the address on the way out. Wait, a cat cafe? Or... Or what? A cat cafe? What else would it be? A cat maid cafe? Well, a cat cafe or a cat maid cafe. What? Are we talking cat cats? Or people dressed like cats because... A freaking cat cafe. Actual cats. Adorable, fluffy, precious cats. Why the hell would I invest in some stupid maid cafe? Cats. Normal cats. <laughs> and just like that, the ship is... <laughs> the ship is dead. Kasumi. What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck is cat maids? What the... What? Cats. Cats. What are you... Damn it, now I'm all worked up. Look, get that goddamn contract signed and we'll talk. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
Because we just there going, what, what, what the fuck are you talking about, Gossip? What the fuck are you talking about, Detective? Oh, hello. Who are you guys? We can talk to you now. Looks like they've been digging up the sidewalk, but since they're blocking my view, I can't quite see what they're doing. Takeuchi. Hey, lady, you need something. There's nothing to see here, so why don't you just move along? Why should I? You said yourself there's nothing to see, after all. Fair. Good advice for you. If you're trying to keep someone from staying out of your business, I wouldn't lead with nothing to see here. So you should think so, too. Every time you say nothing to see here, people stop and stare at us instead of actually moving along. Hmm, nothing to see here. It really does kind of make me want to look more, you know? Kind of sinister. Nothing to see here. That's what cops say when there's definitely, without a doubt, something worth seeing. Thanks a lot for the advice, boys. Last I checked, it was you who worked for me, and not the other way around. Alright, alright, no need to be some damn touchy. What we're saying is that unless you want to want every passerby in Kabuchi to stop at a stare at us, you could try zipping it. Zip it? Is that how you talk to all your employers? You are aware of who I work for, right? Right? Taking your hold with the least of your worries, so do as I say. They do both love cats. It's a shame that, uh... It's a shame that Kasumi also loves blackmail. And, uh... Violence. These jobs are the worst. What exactly are you guys doing? All of a sudden I can't help but wonder what some suit is doing standing by a construction site. Heh. <laughs> I have to agree with a little lady, with a little lady on that one. As far as I can tell, we're pulled up a strip of concrete for no damn reason at all. No reason. Far for it. It's scheduled maintenance requested by the building's owner. There were complaints that people falling or getting hurt because of the uneven pavement, so my employer generously offered her own money to fix it. Maintenance, huh? It ain't perfectly fine to be until we start hacking into it. You seem awfully impatient for us to fill it back in. Uh oh. Are we burying bodies in there? Yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. That's true, man. We can get that violence. And use it for good. Maybe it's got something to do with that little thing you had wrapped in cloth before. Shut up! We'll ask you to dig two more holes after this one. Two more? Ooh, I get it. I think that was meant to be some sort of threat. Yes, exactly. I mean, what he said wasn't exactly threatening. Honestly, I've heard better. Is he trying to imply that he's going to make us cover ourselves in concrete? Kind of a boring threat. Fine. Bad joke. Maybe you two should remember you're being paid very generously to be here, so shut it. And you, miss, would you please kindly move along? As you can see, I'm busy enough with these two without any additional distractions. Interesting. I went back in there without even trying to go to Akihabara. Kasumi would make me regret it. Well, unfortunately, we gotta go. Akihabar, here we go. I hate... Gonna have to go threaten Cat Cafe owner. With the violence. Inside there's a few salarymen gathered out like a picture of high school girls posted up on the wall. Yeah, yeah, let's not go there. Talk? What are we talking to? What? What did we detect there? You see that? I feel like we kind of triggered the, uh... Oh no. Oh. Yeah. Dude did the poisoning there. We also triggered the crane. We also triggered the, the crane. The crane's dialogue. Okay. I suppose the point is we shouldn't go looking around or else we might activate old Akihabara triggers.
Anyway, I'm so sorry, Sachiko. Welcome back! I think Tomo remembers you. Hi, Tomo. Must be appreciative of all your help to make him feel better. Although I've had to stop the deliveries of sashimi, even the smell seems to set off his uh, bowels. Another quirk added to an already quirky character. Uh, maybe, it's a, maybe it's a sign that you were right about the fish. Tomo! Oh shit, hi, Lamp! Isn't time for cats. Isn't time for us to uh, threaten this poor, precious cat cafe owner. Ah, uh, yeah, um, listen, we need to talk. It's to Tokyo Dark. It's a uh, whole. like 2013, I believe? Point and click adventure game? Yes, there's a precious cat down there. That's Tomo. Boop and the snoot. Boop snoot. Okay, sure. Uh, why the serious face? We managed to get involved in the Yakuza somehow. What's wrong? Uh, sorry, Tomo. Uh, okay. Hmm, I suppose... Let's bring this up, uh... Generously. You owe the Yakuza? How exactly does the owner of a cat cafe get mixed up with the Yakuza? Huh? What do you mean? Hi, Tomo. I met someone recently who gave me a contract with your name on it to sign. I read it, and it seems like you owe them quite a bit of money. Why? I've been around this kind of stuff for a long time, and I can't figure out how a cat cafe owner... Cat cafe owes that kind of money. Money? Yakuza? Wait, you're working for her? Why? I'm not working for anyone. All I've got is this contract in your name, and I want to know why. The truth is, this place isn't all above board. Or at least, it is, but it wasn't always. I didn't borrow money or anything that stupid. When I was setting up this place, I was just trying to stay above water. The building owner kept coming by to complain, and these government types and health inspectors came knocking. I never realized how complicated opening up a place like this in Tokyo could be. All those rules and regulations. All I ever wanted was to help out the kitties and make people happy. Then she came by. Someone who loved cats as much as I did. She offered to help me smooth things over with everyone. Ah. Uh, cat people friends in the... High places, but also very, very dark places. And I saw the tattoos and everything, but I don't think you could, should judge people just because of how they look. I still don't. You are true, but, uh, she is also... yeah. There was no way I was going to stay open and keep my kitties if I didn't get help fast. So I accepted her offer, and things got better pretty quickly after that. The building owner stopped complaining, and all the permits fell into my lap. The building owner also, uh, conspicuously vanished. Never to be seen again. Do you think I was stupid, but most of the cats here would be stray or dead if I didn't get her help. Again, heart is in the right place. Where you went about it is, uh, yeah. <laughs> For a while, I thought I was saved by a guardian angel. After all, she loved the cats and was kind and friendly to me. It's been quiet, too. The business with Tomo's bowels was the first incident I've had in months. About two months after accepting your help, when I was closing up the shop, some men showed up with a contract like the one you're holding. They said it was for services rendered or something like that. De yes. Get into the cat cafe business. Wasn't much at the time, so I signed it. I owed her a lot, after all, and I was doing pretty well. Only they kept coming back, and every time they came back, they had a new contract. Every contract wanted more and more money. It's gotten out of hand. I can't keep up anymore. This would be won't even see me anymore to talk about it. Hmm. I didn't really think you could get a favor for the Yakuza for nothing, didn't you? I wasn't being greedy, Ito. I thought she was trying to help. 
Hmm. Helping the only way she knows how. Da. Da. Please, you have to help me. The puppy cat eyes? The amount of money that I've asked for is out of hand. I'm doing well for now, but if they got their way, I'd be out of business. You have to tell Kasumi. Please. Tell her that if this place closes down, all those cats, I'll be no place for them to go. Uh, you might be right. You might be right, Dark. You might be right. We might be uh, appealing to Kasumi's love of cats to let up on Sachiko. The poor kitties. They'd be put down. I can't support them myself. I don't think animal services would let me keep them. I couldn't live with myself if that happened. I'm begging you, Ito. Don't do this. Alright. I think I think this is a I think there's no question here, right? We're not gonna make her sign. We have to do something here. Right? There's no way we're gonna There's no way we're gonna make her sign. Not in the slightest. Don't sign, I'll help. <sighs> Damn it, it doesn't matter what I need from her. I can't make you sign this in good conscience. Exactly. It seems like there's been... Uh... Oh, since... It might not be familiar. Well, I have, we have a... We have our uh, scale of stats. So our actions in the game... Uh affect the uh, relevant stats. In this case, uh, professionalism really are uh, our cop score, so to speak. How good at cop are we? How good at police are we? Do we uphold police standards in uh, our everyday life, or do we... Uh, go below the board occasionally to get what we want. And obviously, uh, agreeing to willingly work with the Yakuza would be a negative hit to our professionalism. So... Yeah. Yeah, y you missed earlier what was really the worst, uh, the negative side of the uh, professionalism scale, where Ayami Ito, our main character, our detective who's essentially fought as a woman to be accepted in the male-dominated police force. Fought her hardest to get promoted to essentially major crimes. Was still uh, gossiped about and looked down on by her uh, peers. Fought for any, any standard of respect and the first chance they got to question her and uh, throw her back down and demote her. They took him. Just like that, she's out. And the worst thing is a lot of choices in this game where we can resolve plots violently or non-violently. Like we went back to the police force, which we've essentially banned from right now. We went back to the police department which we were essentially banned from right now. And to do the... We needed information on a case file. When, uh... In order to get that information, we essentially had to suck up to the, uh... The sleazy, sexist cop who, uh... Got our promotion. Who got promoted to our position in our place. And... That scene... I kind of hope someone clips that, because that scene was the most painful thing for this woman to go through. It's the sheer look of pain on her face as she's literally bowing to him, apologizing to him, and congratulating him on his promotion. The sleazy fucker was the worst 
the most heartbreaking thing. And of course he fires back with that awful line. I'm glad you learned to control your emotions, Ito. That's just the worst, slimiest, angriest, uh, most sexist piece of shit line you could ever throw, to, throw out to someone. The, the worst. The worst thing about that scene is that by kowtowing to him and sucking up to him, we gain professionalism. So that's why I say police standards scale. Sometimes it's good. It involves not doing a violence. Sometimes it's bad. It involves playing by police rules. And police rules are not always... Not... No, not... Always... Good. So. That's our explanation for, uh... Professionalism. Damn, it doesn't matter what I need from her. I can't make you sign this in good conscience. Hooray, I knew good will prevail in the end. Thanks. How'd you get mixed up with that woman anyway? I need some information from her. You should be careful. I don't know about her, but her thugs are dangerous. Last time they were here, I heard them talking about having to teach a girl from another cafe a lesson or something. Uh. Makes me feel sick thinking about it. Uh? What else would you expect from guys like that? Breaking legs is probably all they're capable of outside of grunting and drinking. Call me naive, but I don't think get how someone can be so two-faced. I started seeing her face in the papers lately. I couldn't believe it. Surely that ruthless woman they were talking about couldn't be the Kasumi I knew, or so I thought. Guess it's like you said, a tiger can't change its stripes, right? Hmm, maybe so. At any rate, you should probably be more careful who you trust in the future. Sorry, I don't mean to wrap, didn't mean to wrap you up in all this. But thank you for not making me sign. So what's your plan? <laughs> I hate that. Th I hate that you might actually be right, Dark. Another cafe. It is another cafe, right? That's concerning. I'm not really sure if I have one. Yeah, I agree, Lilac. I think we should check out the Cat Girl Cafe. Maybe I could appeal to her kinder self. If she really is a cat lover, I'm sure she wouldn't want to see the little guys hurt, right? Oh no, I've really gone and got myself into trouble, haven't I? Maybe I should go instead. The contract was given to me, so I'd better deal with it myself. Plus, I get the impression that being confined by the cops hasn't put her in a great mood. I'm sure you don't agree, but I still think there's something good in her. Sometimes I can't help but wonder if she'd be doing all those things if she didn't grow up in that... If she didn't grow up into that life. Possibly. All the kitties loved her when they played with her. Cats are such good judges of character. I somehow don't think her treatment of animals correlates too much with her treatment of people. I'm suddenly starting to feel a little queasy thinking about what's going... Going back there without the contract. Damn it, Ayami. You've really gotten yourself into this one one this time, haven't you? No point dwelling on it now. I've made up my mind and I can't run Yakuza debt collections. Just because I'm in a tight spot. Hi, Tomo. Take care. Don't worry, my kitties are never wrong in judging someone's character. Uh, yeah. Sure. Oh. I'll think of something, but I need you to lay low and maybe close up shop for a while until I sort something out. achievement we got from this was called When One Door Closes. Which is possibly a sign that uh, we might get uh, assuming to turn a corner. So we can't examine the cat cafe right now. Oh yeah, the cat maid cafe. can't examine it whatsoever. Can't do anything. So I suppose we gotta go back to... Uh... Oh, there we go. Hey, what are you doing here? Go back. Tomo! Oh, shit! That... That... Tomo! Honestly, little one, I don't want you to get hurt. Go home! 
Tobo's coming with us. One way another, Tomo's coming with us. <laughs> I don't know if I go there, but... Uh, welcome back. I assume you took care of that little nuisance for me. I didn't have her sign it. I couldn't in good conscience ruin someone's life like that. Oh, boy. Tomo is very clever. Let me explain something to you. If I give you something to do, you don't come back until it's done. What? Do you think you're some sort of moral crusader? Helping out the little guy? What'd she tell you, anyway? That she was a small-town girl who couldn't keep up with the big meanies in Tokyo? Put it that way, I guess I do sound like I'm asking a bit much. Did she tell you about all the cats that kept escaping? Or the ones who wandered in nearby businesses? Or the heaps of trash that were piling up around the place? Huh? If it weren't for me getting people off her back and cleaning up the place, those cats would probably be dead by now. Oh. What we have here, Detective, is a trust issue. You were too quick to take the other side because of who I am. Or at least who you think I am. Pity. Kazu? Yes, boss? Take Ito outside and show her what happens when people disappoint me. Don't be too rough. I don't want a repeat of last time. Oh, and leave her face alone. Need for someone to see a black eye and think she might be worthy of sympathy. Keep her jacket here. I like it. It's very chic. Do you know my friends tell me when all the police raids are coming? It's pretty handy, actually. As a matter of fact, there's one scheduled for tomorrow. I'll be gone, of course, but if they were to find this jacket... Well, who knows what they'd think. Would it be a pity if someone recognized it? Kazu, escort her out. Good luck finding that stupid little girl. Hi, Tomo. Hold on, Kazu. Ito, who is this? He's, um, I guess he's a stowaway from the camp cafe. He is, huh? I see. I... You don't want to do a violence in front of Tomo, do you, Kazumi? <laughs> I love him. Ah! Look at his squishy little face. I can't have a detective beaten around such a cute little face. What's his name? Beaten? Oh, um, I think his name is Tomo. Uh, Tomo? That's not much of a name for a man, is it? Hmm. I, sh <laughs> I shall call you Mr. Marshmallow. About that blackmail and beating. Well, that? Forget it. Really? Oh, oh. Good. Oh, Ito, lighten up. You're not a liability unless you start talking to your cop friends. And you wouldn't do that, would you? No. They likely wouldn't believe me at this point, anyway. My thoughts exactly. So cheer up. How can you stay bad with looking at these big eyes and these little feet? <laughs> I look at you and I see a woman whose priorities are all wrong, Ito. You don't appreciate what you have. What you're looking for. Wait until you find it. That works until you find it, but then what? What's left? That's it, I was serious about one thing. I talked to any cops about my business or my, my uh, affections for cats or anything like that. Kazu might pay a visit to your apartment and pick up where he left off. <laughs> but what to think about all that? All the logistics of dismembering and disposing of a detective's body when you've got these little whiskers rubbing against you. <laughs> oh. So precious. What do? Yeah, it was a uh, dialogue size was clearly designed around small size. Huh. Such goes right. You do genuinely love cats. So I make her sign a contract that would end with her having to put the cats down. Sachiko isn't as perfect or and cute as she seems. She might love her cats, but she has strange ways of caring for them. She owes me a great debt. It's my right to collect it. Cafe shut down. I'd make sure those cats have a home, though I can't say the same for their owner. This job is about tough decisions, not legal ones like you cops make. In my business, you have to sleep with the choices you make, not leave them at the door when you hand the case over to the courts. 
<laughs> Mr. Marshmallow likes being picked up. Oh, he is pretty cute. See, dark the dark. The next step forward would be, uh, why don't you come? If you come by my place, you could meet my cat. I'm not sure if you meant for this outcome, but I have to say you have some guts coming back in like you did. I thought you'd be another pushover cop to keep it in my pocket. I, under I underestimated you. But I'm doing so. I've given you information on one of my weaknesses. Hmm. It's funny, really. It's been so much time making sure I've not seen as the weak woman that all these men expect me to be. And I don't feel like myself sometimes. So th something I'm sure you understand quite well. And once again, yeah, that legi it legitimately works on so many levels, Dark. They're both women struggling to be seen as on par with the men in the very male-dominated fields. If you could call Yakuza a field. A, prof a profession. Which you could, I suppose. It brings in quite a lot of money, I imagine. Tell you what, I'll let you have that one little weakness of mine. It's only fair. I know so many of yours, after all. In a different light, maybe we could have been friends. Yeah, there it is. Probably not going to work, uh, work out, but... Uh... Kazu, stand down for now. Ito, consider yourself lucky. I'll let you keep your jacket tonight. Understood, boss. All right, forget the Cat Cafe contract. I'll get one of my boys to deal with it later. What is it you wanted again? I want to speak to Omega's company president, Higashi, about a girl assigned to his agency. That's right. Missing agency president in one of his many... projects. What a despicable little man. I'll tell you now, I had no problem taking control of that business from him. I led him as president to keep a few of his clients happy. A decision I regret now. Alright, where is he? Unfortunately, I'm just in the dark. I'm just as in the dark about where he disappeared to as you, I'm afraid. Demon Queen being courted by a mage, and I'm getting some similar vibes up. Well, that's interesting. I'm gonna say, you, you, have to, you have to share that with me. Oh, wait, I think I, I think I might vaguely know what you're talking about there, Dark? That webcomic? That, that's vaguely stirring memories, but still, I'd be curious to. You gotta, you gotta send that to me sometime. A deal's a deal, though. While you were out, I got an address to one of his old hideouts at the code to get in. I can't guarantee you'll find anything there, but I said I'd tell you what I knew, and that's all, and that's what I know. You haven't sent one of your stooges to check it out for you? Can't leave. Kabuchiko. Stooges. I like you, but don't push it. I said earlier, me and my men can't afford to be spotted right now. Especially in an area getting so much special attention. Oh. Huh. Special attention? Doesn't Kabuchiko get enough attention on its own? Kabuchiko is what it is. But this is in Kabuchiko. This particular spot got its reputation, and subsequently its extra police patrols a bit more recently. In fact, I hear there's still an ongoing investigation going on there. I heard, you, I heard you'd be immediately familiar, intimately familiar with that area, and the incident that happened there. My condolences isn't a loss of your partner, Detective. But your partner, Detective Tanaka, by the way. All the papers are rushing to make you out to be incompetent, or worse yet, some sort of psychotic killer. Maddening, isn't it? Nice, thank you. My friends at police headquarters say you two were... Close. That's no way to lose someone you love. I suppose it's not too much to ask what really happened. Was there really someone there that night? Thanks for the condolences. But what happened on that night isn't something I want to discuss right now. Suit yourself. Let's change the subject back to Higashi. It took quite a bit of digging to find that address. It seems he was keeping a second hideout in Shinjuku under, under a fake name. So it is the that... The door which needs a passcode in Shinjuku. The one that we've seen a few times now. Interesting. Now that we know where it is, he probably knows too. I highly doubt he'd be stupid enough to tr stupid enough to stay holed up in it. But I also doubt he'd be smart enough to completely clear the place out before he left town either. 
There's probably something in there that would lead us right to him. Get what you want. Then let Kazu know where the slime is so we can straighten him out. Now get those fantasies of running away out of his head. Go to the door, it's 11235. Remember that number, chat. 11235. It's the only key bad lock on the street. You can't miss it. What it's worth, I wish you good luck finding your little girl, but remember, you can't save the ball. I am Ito. Oh, and Ito. Thanks for bringing Mr. Marshmallow to me. Being holed up in that one in one place for that last few weeks can be a bit taxing. You know. Remember he loves fresh fish. Fresh fish, huh? Sachiko certainly does have an uh, eccentric taste. Kazu, go pick up some, some sashimi. Right away, boss. Oh no, don't do that. I thought it'd still give some bad di bad diarrhea. Oh no. And probably the only cop to enter Kasumi's private bar who wasn't already in her pocket. But with how things turned out, maybe that's not true either. Maybe. This music got a lot louder all of a sudden. Yeah, that music got a lot louder all of a sudden. No, that's... volume didn't change. Interesting. Alright. On to Shinjuku. Where we started. One, one, two, three, five. Thank you. I'm a little sad we can't go to Butterfly anymore and check up on our, uh... Good to go see Daiso. Hi, Daiso. I don't have anything to say to Daiso. Bye, Daiso. Let's just use keypad. Huh, it worked. Looks like Kasumi's tip wasn't a lie. Oh, okay. We don't need it. Ah, uh, what a stench. I... I hope so. At the very least, it seems like uh, Kasumi is going to let up for let up for a bit. In another way, oddly enough, Kasumi's side of the story made it seem like she was actually doing some. Like, like she was actually doing legitimate good, putting in work there. Investing a lot into it. I don't know about the, uh... Yeah. Hopefully just, uh... Alluding back to the contract. Like, I can't, I can't see she'd want to sort out anything violently in front of the cats. Because we, we just saw that she's very serious about cats. I can't think she'd want to sort anything out violently with the cats. So. I imagine it's just going to be contract related. And I think it's worthy... It's worth believing in her that if she did shut down Sachiko she would find homes for the cats feel how you will about uh... yeah it's a small condolence but uh, at least the cats would be taken care of and if you could If we can buy into uh, Kazumi's side, Kas Kasumi's side of the story at all, then Sachiko wasn't always taking the best care of them. Which don't know how that seems like she is now mostly. I don't know how 
response to that is circling around to bankrupting her, but... Unless that's legitimately money she's put in. Unless her justification for that is money she's put into uh, the getting people off of her back. But still. I... That's, that's about the only condolence we can take from the situation, is that she would take care of the cats if she went back and bankrupted Sachiko. Anyways, what a stench. I know that smell. Anyone who's worked homicide long enough knows it. Oof. Oh wow, there's lots of doors here. It seems to be locked, I can't open it. Big lock. Can't, seems like the inside of the lock's been filed off. Alright, well. It's getting louder down here. No good, there's something is holding it from the other side. I hope it isn't catching on anything. This isn't gonna work. Alright, so you have to start kicking doors in. Kick! Didn't move at all. Must be reinforced. Kick! Kick! Damn it, that did nothing but hurt my foot! Okay, don't kick. Oh, yep, there we go. This one won't budge either. Pick lock. Lock's been tampered with to make them useless. What's been hidden in these rooms? Kick. Where I can kick this down. There he is. Hello. The word Ruby is written in blood on the wall. Ah. Ruby. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, that's more... Terrifying? <gasps> Guess I found Higashi. Damn it, I should have known. Decomposition on his body is pretty far advanced. He must have been here for weeks. Nothing else is wrong. The internal organs have been disturbed. Maybe removed. This paper bag with the name Higashi written on it. The same handwriting and type of bag that Reina left in the dumpster two weeks ago. Oh. This wasn't done quickly. He must have been staying here for weeks. Which means Kazuki was probably here too. Ooh, that's bad. An exchange, just a door. I don't like the sound of this. I don't like the sound of this at all. Listen. I can see here. Where's that noise coming from? Goodbye. 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 Nope, 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 nope. 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 Nope, 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 nope. 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 Alright, let's go touch the shaking door. Fine, we don't have a choice. Looks like something is trying to escape from the inside. Yes, let's touch it. What could go wrong? What could go wrong, Chet? Let's touch it. The rattling stopped. Why? Ah! Goodbye. 
Enter. I don't think I will. Oh, that door's open now. That door's open. Well, hell. Shorts of shots of various girls, all of them taken in this room. They don't look. At, they don't look at the professional headshots an agency would take. They all look so sad, and young. I got a pretty good idea what these pictures were used for. The types of people they might have been sent to. I don't like this at all. Reina, so it's true. I think you were kept in a place like this. What happened to you? Huh? Something's happening. Uh, um... You're back early. Yeah. I, uh, I don't feel well. I think I'll go to bed early tonight. Ruby, don't ignore me. It's been the same excuses over and over. I don't know what you're talking about. Ruby, my sweet, sweet little Ruby. You think because that one song was a hit, you can just stop working? It's all gone, sweetheart. We ain't spent it all trying to get you a record deal. Why don't you think it's unfair to eat my food and stay here for free without doing any work? Ruby, hey, stop crying. Stop crying. I'm talking to you. Oh, God. I'm glad you're dead, Higashi. Please, I don't mean it. I'll truth the song. I'll make it up to you, I promise. I just... I just don't want to. Exactly why I'm setting up all these meetings for you. you. Make the right impression of these guys. They'll take your place. They'll take you places. Uh, I don't like the sound of this at all. I think you wish I got a little call a little while ago from Masa. Nobody told me. Oh, no. You told me you were being a little disagreeable with him last night at his... Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't like this at all. You know that he's one of our best clients, don't you? The things he can do for you girls is... Well, I shouldn't even need to tell. I don't know what he's asking for her, and I don't like that at all. I mentioned to him because he said there was something special about you. In fact, he said out of all the girls he here, he particularly wanted to meet you. I did you a big favor for making that happen. Then you compensate my generosity by sitting in a room, crying, and telling me you don't feel well. Whatever excuse you come with next, I don't like this at all. I couldn't... He tried to... I don't care what he tried to do. You should... You should have let him. Gah. When I took you in, you were a vulnerable, tiny little girl who was already failing in school. I saw your potential. I could already tell how pretty you'd be when you were old. Oh, God. That's all those men care about. How I look. So what? You think I took you in because of how smart you were? You're an idol. You're supposed to be looked at. Most men would fall over. Themselves trying to meet a pretty girl like you, but you ruined it for everyone when you sit there crying. Oh, God. I hope this died... I hope this guy died painfully. I hope he died extremely painfully. I hope he suffered. Yep. <laughs> Straight to the point with the idol industry horror stories. What are you doing? I'm sick of looking like an idiot, Ruby. Made me do this. Oh God! Don't, don't like this. I don't want to look. I really don't want to look, but I guess we're looking. <clears throat> ah! Oh God!
Abs absolutely. Very Final Fantasy sounding. Beat drop scared me. <laughs> ah, hi. Uh, still going, so. Okay, I think that's all. I think bad appears to be... Alright. Okay, we can leave now. Oh no. Now this door is wiggling. No, he stopped. Stop wiggling. Oh, oh, oh. Raina. Ruby. Oh, God. Damn it, Ruby. Can't stand a scene like this. You're not gonna feel better staying cooped up in here. You don't care. Listen, I got you that photo shoot lined up tomorrow. The one with Masa. Even listening. Don't make me go back. I don't want to go out. Let me stay here. What's wrong with you? Please. Please don't make me. I'm afraid to go. As I can tell, all you're afraid of is success. I've fallen over myself to make you a star, but you'll never get anywhere if you lock yourself away. What? You're not going to say anything? You can't treat me this way. I gave you your name, your music, and damn near everything else. Oh, you think you're special, right? Let me break it to you, honey. You're not. There's lots of other girls in this business just like you, and they'll do what they uh, have to without complaining about it. I understand how important it is to keep clients happy, and I'm sorry it's not all butterflies and flowers, but you're not some naive little girl anymore. You're a woman now. Uh, you're the Ruby. I'm trying to give you some advice here, and you're not even listening. Raina. My name is Raina. What'd you just say? Raina. Oh, yeah. That was the name of some pathetic little foster girl I picked up. Want to go back to being her? Just say the word and I'll throw you out there myself. If you think you've got it so bad now, let's count the seconds between you hitting those streets and being back in foster care or dead in some gutter. Not so talkative now, are we, Raina? Was it Ruby? The girl was successful. Girl who could make it if she wanted, if she would just do what she was told. Sorry, I'm sorry, I lost my temper, but you gotta see things my way. We're special, you know that. But you literally just said there was thousands of girls like her. Sleazy, manipulative fucker. I see. You saw so much potential in you. It's a beautiful young girl. I want to raise you up and show you what life could be. Then you reject me and everything I can offer you. It's a damn shame. You're still pretty, Ruby. So pretty. But not when you hope around. Look, I get it. You're a teenager and you want to cry it out, right? Fine. But when you're done with that, you're going back out there. I think I want to send you to all these little meetings with Masa and guys like him. Rather, you were successful, so we don't have to do that. I'm on your side. If you'd work harder, you wouldn't have to do things like that. Stop. Stop crying. You're not a child anymore. I just want to go home. Home? <laughs> Where do you think you are? You are home. This is as good as it's going to get for a girl like you. Tomorrow you're going to go with Masa and do whatever it is he's telling you to do. You'll stop this crime and you'll start making some money. <laughs> Maybe it was a mistake to think you'd end up being special. That's only just a disappointment. Another whole Ah. Oh. Uh, hate you already. Something laying on the mattress. 
It's a newspaper article dated October 24th, 2004. Huh? Article's title, One Hit Wonder Ruby Commits Suicide. Can't be, that was over 10 years ago. Her real name was withheld from the press, but her picture is there. According to the article, Higashi went to her room and found it locked. He called her, she didn't answer. This is horrifying. This is fucking horrifying. Thought she must have been tired, he said. She'd been working hard on a new song. He only forced the door open when he noticed the smell when he found her hanging from the rafters. She'd hung herself almost two days before. Probably in this room. There's more. Though Mr. and Mrs. Higashi had adopted her years before. There's a Mrs. There's a Mrs. Higashi? Ruby was not made to work and loved being an idol more than anything in the world. So that was a fucking lie. Yeah. Yeah. Her song, Look For Me, will go on sale again this month, with all sales going to various suicide prevention charities. I've read enough. The saddest that's in this room is the same awful feeling I felt in the sewers. Is it Reyna's? Is that what I'm supposed to see? and vibrating. We can leave. Where do we go from now? I feel sick. That monster. How many girls did Higashi pass around and abuse before she murdered him? And Reina. She looked the same as she does now. Sixteen years old. A child. Higashi had her locked up and she tried to take back control the only way she thought she could. She could. Only, only she came back. All that pain and suffering came back with her. It was in that room, I could feel it like it was my own. It's not the first time I felt it. A dark was steeped in it. As soon as I realized it, it was like the air changed. I can sense a pulse now, like a heartbeat following me, but it's not enough. The mask could help me find the door, and I can feel the dark, but the path still isn't open to me. What am I missing? My gut tells me it has to do with the common guy. The only one alive who knows about it is the old Kawana woman. She has to tell me what happened. <sighs> that is fucking... Oh. <sighs> oh. Our options are extremely... You're definitely getting down into it now. There's only one place to go. You, I told you to stay away from my family. Don't drag my grandchildren into this any more than you already have. Stay back. I have questions about the common guy, the group your daughter and son-in-law were a part of. You're the only one alive who would remember. Come on, Kai. I don't know anything about it. Leave me. Grandma, enough. Listen to yourself. Do you even realize you're lying anymore? Takashi told me it told us everything. And you, Ito. Just because this investigation is important to you doesn't give you the right to just barge in here. 
That's fair. I'm sorry, but... My, your grandma and I need to talk. If it upsets you, maybe you should go. Oh, don't do that. No, I'm not going anywhere. This is the house I grew up in. It's as much mine as it is grandma's. If you have something to say, you can say it in front of me. A little while ago, I found out my parents died in some cult, and no one even knows why. You think hearing that was easy for me? I want to help you, Ito, but I thought the deceit and lies are starting to hurt people. What I'm chasing is so much worse. Tell that to the poor man in the station. He's in the hospital now, terrified out of his wits. Ah. People aren't only here to be used for information that's thrown away while you move on. They have lives, too. Bringing up the past can hurt. I'm sure that you of all people understand that. That seems awfully cheap for judging me for, uh... For not doing a violence against him. You know what I mean? That, that feels kind of cheap. Like this is a... Script. Judge Ito for insert decision here. Like, I'm legitimately a little... I went out of my way to not do... Besides, you, you were there. You were there when I did this. My. And I, I thought we would... I thought this was going good places. Bringing your family back together. Being with the past can hurt. But you of all people can understand that. I do. Ignoring the past won't make it go away. There's unfinished business from the cabin guy that needs to be taken care of. But what's left to talk about? Everyone's dead, right? My, I promise to talk to you about all of this later. For now, let me and the detective talk. Go on. We're cooking us dinner, weren't you? All right, we'll talk about it later. I'll be in the other room if you need me. So you found me out. Now that mine knows, I suppose there's no point in keeping it a secret any longer. Truth is, my daughter never would have joined the Kamen Kai if it weren't for me. I convinced her and my husband to join. I was already a member. Oh. The time I joined, my husband and dad left me, and I lost my job. Yeah, I... I get where Mai's coming from, but, uh... It feels a bit rich of the game to judge us for whatever decision we made in that instance. People aren't there to be used for information and thrown away. Just, just ask the station guy who we didn't kill. We went out of our way to get past non-violently, who was keeping us in Kamakura. Which we had to get past in order to get you the information you wanted, Mai, from your brother. So. This feels a bit rich to... of the game. Not Mai, of the game, to judge us. Yeah, true. Ito's quest is directly tied to their family because of the mask. Even then... Yeah, I'm... Alright. The time I joined, my husband had left me and I lost my job, suddenly leaving a single, unemployed mother who could barely support her daughter. That's when Tokimasa found me and told me that the society had stigmatized and shunned me was a fiction, a great machine to be fought, and that my very soul was at stake. Of course, he used me as he did everyone else. I desperately wanted to hear that my struggles weren't my fault. They stole everything from me. Youth, my mind, then my child. But then one day in 1996, they all died. The cause of death was buried, and no autopsies were performed. Or if they were, they were hidden. Why? Oh, wrong voice. 
That sent all the cult. That government didn't care about some dead cultists in the woods and covered it up so the papers wouldn't sensationalize their deaths. That's it? After everything I've found, you expect me to believe that? Twelve people died that day, and no one knows why. What happened? Tell me the truth. You want to know what happened so badly? Fine. I'll tell you. Died for nothing. Following in the footsteps of a madman who believed that life was an illusion. Words of other compounds and other groups being raided spread. Tokimasa began warning us that the end was near. He believed the world was collapsing and it was time for him and his followers to abandon the flesh and find purity among the gods. My Emiko. She didn't die from some conspiracy. She chose death because she has no longer had an anchor to reality. It was my fault. Beyond that, I don't know what happened to them. No, you do know something. In the report, it says after the officers cleared the bodies, they found the mask. The same one you handed to me six months ago. <clears throat> That's... Tokimasa would always keep it to himself, saying it granted him sight into the realm of the Kami. I needed it. I don't understand. It allowed us to see strange things in people who were gone. The guru was a fool, a fake, but the mask... The mask was real. There is a rumor that the cult members were killed by one of their own. Sure that you didn't. Alright, have a good night, Dark. Take care. Thanks for thanks for hanging out for so long. Sure that you didn't. I know. You don't understand. I would never kill my own child. I didn't take the mask. It was given to me. One day a man, some journalist or other, showed up at my door carrying the mask. I couldn't believe it. I begged him for it, and he stood there, smiling at me. His eyes were like none I had ever seen. Strange. All I wanted in exchange for the mask was a picture of Emiko. That sounds like the Collector. That sounds like the Collector. When I joined the cult, I was forced to give up my possessions and only had one left, but I gave it to him nevertheless. I thought if I had the mask, then I could find her. Maybe she would forgive me. As soon as I had it in my hands, my mind opened. I could hear her voice. So you went into the sewers chasing after her, thinking you could save her. Takashi told, me, told you that as well, did he? Yes, it's true. Emika was crying out to me, begging me to find her and free her from a dark place. I would have given anything to hold her in my arms again and plead her forgiveness. I don't care if you don't believe me. Just like Tanaka was calling out to me. Do you believe you? Probably some of, the few, some of the few people left alive who know what this mask is capable of. If you really thought I'd help you find her, then why'd you give it to me? Because I was wrong. First I only followed whispers. Then I found myself in a strange labyrinth, chasing after her shade. Days bled together, lost track of my grandchildren, of the shrine. It was a delusion. No matter how hard I tried, I never found her. I became more and more disconnected with the, from the world around me. I ended into madness. It's being used again. Did this Tokimasa have used me so many years before? I tried getting rid of it, throwing it away, burning it. None of it mattered. It always came back. I did the visions and whispers, only got worse. So I put it out of my mind and tried as best as I could to live a life of solitude and ignore the screams of my daughter. Then you came. You did the mask. When you did, the mask was screaming out in voices I'd never heard before. That was a sign. So I gave it to you. I didn't even have time to breathe out a sigh of relief before I heard a gunshot ring out. No one else ran to it. I think I was the only one who knew the sound for what it was. I thought the mask was punishing me once again by taking Mai away from me. Instead, it had passed tragedy to another. I'm sorry. Perhaps the knowledge of the mask should die with us. There's one other person who knows about the mask. A girl named Reina. Does that name mean anything to you? No, I don't know anyone by that name. You expect to know everyone who's been touched by the mask. No, but you were involved with the group that worshipped it. Are you sure you're telling me everything? Maybe Reyna's parents were involved with the... Uh, the cult. Yes, what good will accusing an old woman do? Unless, unless you're chasing someone too. Must be it. Mai told me you lost someone, your partner, the police. Is that right? I'm right, then I suggest you stop your search. The place I was shown where the mask was not meant for the living. I barely escaped with my life. Stop while your mind and body remain intact. 
What if I told you there was another option? Oh? What other option? In the moment since I first met you, I've had time to examine the ancient text in the shrine. As the mask grew further away, it loosened its grip on my mind. I knew then it would someday make its way back to me. And so I became determined to find a way to protect myself and my grandchildren from its influence. The darkness of the common, of the common kind, its ritual object, but manipulations used to sever our connection with what is truly divine. The mask breeds darkness. Dark forces can invade all manner of living and non-living things, driving them to violence or death. Which is evil cannot be used or tolerated. It must be destroyed. It's the only option to save us from its grip. Destroy the mask? I thought you just said it couldn't be done. Not physically. Grandma, is everything alright? I overheard you talking about that mask again. Yes, dear, but you needn't worry. In fact, it's good you're here, as this talk involves you. Ah, oh, you've trained in exorcism and purification rituals for quite some time, haven't you? Such a ritual could purify the mask and turn it into a mere piece of wood. Even we gathered the right materials, of course. Interesting. I can tell from the look in your eyes that you think me to be senile, but I'm quite serious. Even modern rituals have ancient roots, and with enough conviction, they are still capable of great power. Before, I was content to die as long as the mask didn't hurt my children, as I was too feeble to do what was necessary myself. But now seeing you here, I see a second chance to do what is right. If you truly do know what the mask is, then you must help me destroy it. Uh, slow down, I didn't come here to be involved in a ritual or exorcism or whatever you call it. Only what the truth about the common guy, which you still haven't given me. You're a stubborn one, aren't you? So be it. See, there's only one way to change your mind. The only trace of what happened that day would be at the common guy compound itself. Ooh. Interesting. We'll be right back one moment. Hydration, hydration obtained. <laughs> the records of its location are lost, and they were never made public, but I know where it is. What's the catch? Go there, search for your truth. See that what worshipping the mask has wrought. When you return, you'll help me destroy it. What makes you so confident I'll change my mind? I went back once, years ago. In all honesty, I'm not sure why. Perhaps to remind myself of my sins. What I saw and felt in that place it was tainted by darkness and death. Those two things are all the mask will afford you. There is something else. I had a feeling you'd say that. Heavy, unnatural air I felt when I returned to the compound. It had the same stench, the same quality of the tunnels where I searched for Emiko. It's like a superstition to me. So what exactly is it you want in exchange for the information? I believe the energies of the mask and that place are linked. I want you to bring something back from there. Anything. It may help in the ritual. Looking for the truth will not bring you peace, detective. Purifying the mask very well might. Remember that. The compound is in the forest of... Aokigahara. Aokigahara? I mean, that's the suicide forest. Suicide forest, what a dreadful name. I suppose those woods have been had seen their fair share of tragedy and death. Ito, you can't just go charging in there. It's dangerous. What if you got lost? GPS doesn't work in there, and I heard even compasses won't point north. Not only that, but well, a lot of people go there to die. I don't think you should go. 
You two keep talking about the mask like it's some evil spirit causing you pain, but... I think the pain you're feeling isn't caused by a mask. It's just you. So many nights, so many nights after that girl died in the shrine, I had nightmares. Every corner I went around, I thought I'd see her there. It wasn't a ritual or a charm that made me better, though. I just stopped listening to the fear. I confronted it. You took me to see Ta Takeshi. That was the first time I'd left Kamakura since April. It's embarrassing to admit it, but I was scared. And yeah, Takeshi telling me all that stuff about mom and dad was scary, but, but it was the truth. I wasn't hiding from some demon I'd invented myself. And I know you might not listen to me, but I don't think you should put yourself in danger just so you should... Just so you can keep chasing your demons. Maybe you're right, but some demons have a way of spreading to others. Seeing the Kamenkai compound is something I have to do. Well, it's your choice, but Alkigahara is huge. How are you going to find one compound? Mine well, makes a very good point. It's been a long time. Are you sure you remember where it is? Of course I do. I know what you two must think of me, but I'm not senile. So it's a hike away from a bus stop on the outskirts of Narusawa. We used to go into town occasionally for supplies. Several miles away from that bus stop, there's a clearing and a path I used time by time by the Forest Service. Draw you a map before I leave. Before you leave. It used for quite some time, and eventually it will be blocked off. Keep going forward and don't turn back or leave the path. The forest can play tricks on you. Supposing the path is still there, it seems pretty incredible to me that the compound would be would have been left alone all these years. It still stands. After all, why would they bother to go and dismantle it? Go. Search for whatever truth you think you'll find. But be careful, detective. Do what must be done. Then me. Staying there is dangerous. I hope that once you enter the place and feel the energy I did, you have the sense to see what I never could. You understand, don't you? Ask must be purified. Hmm. What do you think? Now this might be the, uh, the split point. Do we purify the mask? Do we use it to try and find our partner? I, I agree. I think it depends on what we find. Which means that maybe we maybe we punt on the decision until later on in the end game. Don't be a fool. Finding what happened that day will change nothing. You're being haunted by your past, chasing phantoms as I once did. You enter those dark places, you leave places pieces behind. Purified. Stop this while you're still whole. Begin preparations for the ceremony, regardless. I see her out. She never said anything like that to me. She must have really scared her. Listen, I'll help with this ritual because I think it'll help Grandma get better. Don't get yourself killed. I know in your eyes I'm probably just a kid, but I know how much it hurts to want the truth. Takashi obsessed over the past, and I was miserable not knowing. Grandma almost went insane on top of that. Yeah, quite. I do very much think that the demons haunting Grandma were both her own and those haunting the mask. Grandma said it herself. You're still young. You should forget about all that start over. And you might not want to hear this, but listening to you two talk about masks and spirits, well, you sound like the girl at the, that, like that girl at the shrine. See. The thing... The thing we could have said... Yeah. <laughs> Like it feels like the mask in the dark are 
intrinsically linked. It feels like something's mucked up. That people who are dying are being trapped in the dark. Like if the door, in essence, is the door to the afterlife of the sorts. That door is jammed. Then these people who died can't pass on. So it's this doesn't become an essence of a doesn't become a story of bringing them back. It becomes a story of helping them move on. Yeah. The thing is, I don't think Ito truly understands the situation. Maybe once she, maybe going after Kazuki and finding him will clarify that point. Like, the mask is the key to finding the door. Which, maybe that's why Raina was trying to find it. It's because she doesn't, she doesn't want to be trapped in this world. And Kazuki pretty much dying with the mask on would take him to the dark to try and help Reyna. It's... I almost feel like in a way both need to happen in order to actually end this. You could make an argument that purifying the mask would be really bad because the mask is the way to find the door. The dark can never be... Those trapped in the dark can never be saved. I don't know. It's hard to say. It scares me and it should scare you too. Sound like the girl at the shrine. What we could say to, to scare I and Grandma is that the girl at the shrine died in 1994. Take care of yourself, Ito. Okay. Absolutely. These twelve years. Aokigahara. Better known as the Suicide Forest. Despite its nickname, the volcanic earth it grows on makes the forest beautiful and green. Every year, however, large numbers of people wander in, intending it to be their final resting place. Occasionally, authorities have had to comb through it for new bodies. Why is it? Why is a sweetheart? I agree. Ah. Uh, I think at this point. We're going on about four hours. Although I feel like we're getting real close to the end. I think it's time to end things off for tonight. Let's see. In a sense, we didn't we didn't quite go as long as we did last week, but we still got pretty we still got pretty far. We're getting there. We're getting to the end. But I think yeah, we end off here. Before we go to Aokigahara. We got a hundred investigations, so we're a pro investigator. 
You still retain some professionalism by not uh, doing Yakuza work. Beer. Extremely negative neurosis. Sanity is about an average. Yeah. I'd say realistically, in terms of decisions, the investigation has been the biggest mover for us. But alas. Yeah. So I believe once we've had, once we've gotten an ending, we unlock some means of uh, like a uh, new game plus the fast travel, such and the like, which should help with exploring other paths and endings. And we can go beat up Tyra too. And we could go beat up Tyra too. Which is always good because Tyra needs to suffer. Tyra needs to absolutely suffer. So. The fucker. Tyra needs to suffer. Higashi needs to suffer. Higashi did suffer. Thank goodness. Higashi needs to suffer eternally, though. Fucking scumbag. God. Some heavy, some heavy shit in this stream. Some real heavy shit in this stream. Extreme... Uh, extreme levels of abuse. Fucking... Uh, extreme levels of sexism. Heartbreaking heartbreaking seeing Hayami uh, fucking uh, god that scene fucking hurt man we maintained our professionalism but at what cost dude what cost that hurt <laughs>